just said it. I don't know why I was just gonna... Oh, oh, oh. Hello, oh, everybody. Hello. 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 Oh, my God. What's happy, going on? Lo, 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 lo. Happy, happy lo, lo, Thursday. Lo, 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 lo. What are you saying? Across the stars from episode two. Why? Uh, why not? I just wondered, na, 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 like, are you... Na, 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 na. <laughs> That's what it is. Oh, okay, I remember that. Na, 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 no! Na, uh, what? Don't trivialize John Dun. Williams in front of me. Dun. 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 All right, it's blasting Dun. 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 How's everyone doing? Dun. Dun. Very good. Very good. musical. <gasps> good. Hi. Hopefully it went downstairs. Or not downstairs. Everyone watching. That's the word I wanted. Yeah. Are you okay? No. <laughs> <laughs> All right. How was everybody's week this week? All right. All right. Good. All it right. was Calvin. No. <laughs> Over the weekend, I'd gotten sick and like Friday, whatever. So like I was like I was trying to rest, but I spent my time. Um, the kids have started to play Fortnite. Yeah. And Leon loves Fortnite, and he's getting Colson to play. And then there was a, there was one day that Kanan played with him, yeah. and they were all three running around on a little crew. Like killing stuff. Well, Kanan was just using his little axe, just just breaking for materials, just hitting stuff and following him. <laughs> yeah. Um, and they got like third or something, which was kind of fun. But oh, that's cool. I was like, oh well, let me try to set up so that you guys have all your accounts and they're synced between the two different like um, consoles and stuff. Yeah. And then that way, like whatever you do on mm -hmm. one, will be able to work on the other one. Yeah. You know. I started an allowance for Leon, and Leon. Use his money to buy a battle pass so that he could be a banana yeah. on Fortnite. <laughs> okay. So anyway, in my process of that, I'm like, okay, so I got to set up Google accounts. So I set up Google emails so that they all have their own email account. And Google's like, oh, well, you can make these under your own account as, as a parent account. I was like, okay, cool. Okay. That way I can monitor them and make sure they're not doing crazy stuff they can't do, you know? Sure. And then I went through and made uh, PlayStation accounts to attach to those uh -huh. and... They already have Switch accounts, kind of, so I had to go through and set up their PlayStation accounts to link to their Gmails, and I went through this long process of figuring out what their names are, and for some reason, it wouldn't accept Captain. Colson wanted the name Captain Angry. Captain Angry. Captain Angry 12. That's a good name. No, yeah, there's there's some and it series wouldn't. of letters in there that is somehow a racial slur. And it, wouldn't, it, said, it, it didn't say taken. It just says not allowed. Yeah. Huh. Because so I had to go on a process for Lucas, so long. Uh, his his like screen name in a lot of things is Captain Bucky. Yeah, and it won't it, it'll it won't allow it. every part of it except for Captain. Yeah, so I had to go through a long process of trying to figure out what the heck it's gonna be, and it, it just took a long time, and I was irritated. And then once I got it set up, I was able to parent it underneath mine under on a family thing. Yeah, and I was like, okay, well here's their ages. I set those up. Once I got it all set up, there's. The setup for it is nice because you can choose different levels for like print, parental guidance over like what they're playing and stuff. So they can't do M rated and T rated. Or if you want them to be able to play T rated, you can select and put them on a higher level. Yeah. Well, I went through and did that. But then when I tried to log in for Colson to play Fortnite, which is a rated T for teen, there's some kind of underlying like coding secret thing Check. that says your child's not of age to play basically okay so they had to be like over 12 but leon was able to log in and he was 10 so i'm like well okay well if it's saying they're not old enough even though i put the level on the parental thing of being like i will let them play these games it still wouldn't let them in i like i'll go change their date of birth and just lie so they can play it sure but the account won't let you change two things and one of those things is date of birth mm. so i got into a chat to talk to somebody and they said, uh, I, I was like, hey, here's my problem. Here's what I'm doing. Here's what, you know, all the thing I've been going through the whole day has been setting this up, trying to get this to match up with everything. And I haven't even gotten to the part of trying to match their Epic accounts so that it's all attached to their Switch right. and everything. <laughs> and uh, I'm like, here's, here's the problem. They're like, oh, well, you know, there's the issue of uh, them not being old enough to play. I was like, well, my 10-year-old can play. And I put in his date of birth, right? And they're like, oh, well, that must be a glitch. And I was like... Can you glitch the other ones? <laughs> They're like, no. I was like, all right. Well, can can we just change the date of birth? Because it won't let me change the date of birth. And they're like, no, we're not able to do that because if you guys get logged out or have whatever issues, it's some kind of information we can use to get you logged back in. And I was like, okay. Well, I don't want to have to because I've gone through all this time, but I guess I'll just delete the accounts 
and lie <laughs> and make new accounts and make brand, make make new accounts so can you can can you help me delete these accounts so that I can use the same Gmail and username and stuff on them and she's like well sure but we can only do one in a chat we're not allowed to work on multiple accounts oh so I would have to gosh. wait and queue again to delete the three different accounts or two different accounts I guess because Leon's was working I'm going nuts I'm just... so I go through that and I'm like all right fine whatever let's just do this one we'll do this one and then we start going through she goes all right which which account is it this one and I get to the point of all right are we good to do this and she says well I need to tell you this too and she went through this thing that basically said you'll have 30 days and then the Gmail can be attached to a new to a new account after those 30 days or if in those 30 days you can revoke it and not cancel uh-huh but once it's been canceled, that username is gone forever. And I'm like, the whole reason I'm deleting it is to keep this username. Like, if you, I can't use it after, I can use it after 30 days or I can't use it ever again. She's like, you can't use it ever again. I was like, I spent so long trying to figure out this one, <laughs> I'm not gonna lose it now. So I was like, I'll just make another, another account and let them play on that. Like, it, it went through this long process. I'm like, so everything I did basically amounted to nothing. nothing. They, Eric's <laughs> least favorite thing. They can't, they can't play on those accounts. I'm like, should I? Should I wait so that they can play on it? Like they just can't buy anything on these fake accounts? Like I don't know what process I should go about so that they can play their Fortnite games and they want to like spend money to get fun skins and fun items and all mm -hmm. this stuff. So I don't know what to do with that. So I'm just like, kids just, we're not buying anything. I'll figure something out later, I guess. Yeah. As of right now, it's all fucked up. <laughs> I don't know what to do. And then Monday, I think it was, or someday this week after that, um, I was going to log into my origin for EA, mm -hmm. and when I logged in, it was my username, and it was my password, and it logged in, and it said verify, because you're logging in, you haven't logged in for a while, verify, and it had an authenticator, which I don't remember setting up on mine, and then it's like, well, we can email you with an email that I've never seen before in my life. Oh, you okay. got hacked. And I was like, what the fuck? I'm like, all right, I'll go and try to figure this out. And I went in and I found a form thing and I started filling this out. And when I submitted it, it took me into a chat and then I waited for a little bit and then I got a person to talk to. I was like, all right. And my, my, the, the topic of it all was the email on my account is not mine. And then it went PC, origin access, uh, hacked. Those were all the informations for me to get into this chat. Gotcha. So I'm talking to this person, uh, like Asta or something. I don't know what the hell their name was. Asta. They, yeah, I, I don't know. It wasn't. It was like Adam Aspen. or John or nothing. You know, it was, it was a name I've never seen before. I'm like, all right, Asta. Like, here, you know, here's what I'm doing. I'm trying to log in. I can't get logged in because the email here is not mine. Yeah. And then uh, they they said, you know, okay, well, sorry to hear that. They're not being nice and all the, <clears throat> the fake stuff that they say. And then they went into, <laughs> can you tell me? Um, I'm gonna send you an email so that you can verify that you're you. I was like, okay. And I was like, she's like, which email are you using? I was like, well, Ellie, E L L I O, you know, my Elliot one. Yeah. This is what I'm using. I'm using this email. And they're like, no. I was like, what do you mean no? You can't just say no. This is the Asta. account I've been using. You're not giving me any information. <laughs> yeah. I would have used the word asked though. Because they're like, what account are that. you using? I'm like, this is the account I'm using. And uh, they're like, don't you have access to this account? And they name off the, the email that it's asking for. And I'm like, no. No. If I did, I would log in and play the fucking game. Asta. And I said this <laughs> in the chat. Because I was just like, like it was such a long process. I'm like, I would just fucking play the game if I had access to this email. Did you I go don't. all caps? I can't do those tech chats, man. I'm like, Fuck I don't man. have access to this or else I would log in, I would play. So yeah. I need to revert it. I have mm. this date, this date right here, back in October, it says... You have changed your email address. Uh -huh. If you didn't do this, click here. Well, I never saw the email, yep. so I never did it, right? We go through, and they're like, okay, well, can you verify what your first email address was on this account? And I'm like, this is this one that I'm giving you. And they're like, that's not correct. I'm like, well, I, I, I don't know. I mean, I have, do, like, do you have any other email addresses? I'm like, I have several. I've had Gmails, Yahoo's. I still have an AOL account. Like, I'm, <laughs> I'm like, I don't know which one it would have been then. I've got a grab bag. What do you want? <laughs> Asta. I'm like, I have all these emails saying, like, I have a verification of this email being attached to this account in 2014. And I'm like, screenshotting these and sending links. Yeah. And I'm like, is any of this verification that I can use, you know? Mm hmm And... We go through all this stuff, and they're like, well, none of this works. And at one point, she had dot, 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 at 
because a lot of times they, they like censor out what the email is so i can't actually see what it is yeah she's like D- you don't have one that could relate to this and the only thing i see in it is the word games okay uh, and i'm like uh, i know is it rattlesnake games <laughs> And I'm like, that's from so long ago. Was Asta excited when you said that? And I was like, it's this one. She's like, yeah, that's it. I was like, all right, well, I'll send an email to that to verify. And I'm like, that doesn't exist anymore. I don't even think I have (laughs) access to that. They're like, wait, so you can't access his email? I'm like, no, it's not a real email anymore. I was like, that's from a business long time ago. (laughs) And they're like, all right. Before the internet. Well, we're going to have to, I'm going to have to send you to a form. And you have to fill out this form, and then they will get to you. And as I'm filling out this form of this issue that I have, at one point it says, what is the email of your account? And I ask Asta, what email do they want in this? Do they want the one attached currently? Do I put the one that was on it originally? Or do I put the one that... You know, you that, that, I, that I want to attached to you it, were, that is mine. You were typing all this, right? Yeah. Like, were you typing in that sarcastic, like, capital this, lowercase this? Like, no, what do I we want, <laughs> No, I wasn't even doing that. <laughs> but, uh, my buddies Landis and Juan were l- listening to me like, what the fuck is this? What, is, what do they want? And, uh, you know, I was like, I, you know, I don't know. At one point she asked me, did you change your email on the account this morning? And I was like, no, I haven't changed it since ever like a long time so i'm like i don't even know if you want the one that's attached to it now or if it is attached and if it's been changed and she's like well nothing's been changed so just put the email you know just don't, no she said don't worry about the email and i'm like it's asterisked and it won't let me fill out this form unless i put an email uh-huh. and i'm like which one do i put and she wouldn't answer the question she just ignored it the whole time and i'm like all right i'm just gonna put this and I put it there, and I just gave a whole bunch of information. She goes, just fill out that form. I will, uh, I'll, I'll push it through really quick, and you'll get answers really fast. And I was like, oh, all right. Well, yes. thanks, I guess. And eventually, I just quit. I did the form until, and I sent it in. I heard nothing back until yesterday when I got home, and I had an email. And the email said, you know, we're sorry for the inconvenience of this. Um, it looks like there, you, you, there are some issues. In order to solve this, please go to this chat. Is it Asta again? It's it was the same chat I did before. The oh same my one. Gosh. Like go in, fill in the topics. I filled in the exact same topics. I got some guy named Puke or something. <laughs> Puke? What? It was like P U K H or something. I don't know how you say it. Puck? Puke? P- Puke? Did you I don't, call I don't him? Know. Oh, I guess I don't know what you call him. You just I don't know their name. Them. I'm just chatting. I have no idea. Thank God I'm you're like, chatting with them. I'm like, here's the yeah. issue I have. Puke, All right, puke. <laughs> The person's ah. first response after me giving them the issues and saying, let me look, said, you have been hacked. And I'm like, well, thanks. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Let's, can we move on? This yeah. is completely new information. And I'm like, this is going to be the same shit I had last night <laughs> all over again. Here we go. <laughs> I'm glad this was a text chat. It was, oh, my God. Chat. <laughs> I should have just say, I, I don't know if I saved the first one or not. I should have saved the first one because I had it all of Man, what I you did. That's <laughs> fucking bullshit. You wandered <laughs> into an infinite loop. It was yeah. awful. But I was th- going to say it probably got emailed to you, but who knows which email? <laughs> exactly. So I went through. I said, I said, here's the email that's on it now. Here's the email I want on it. And they sent a verification. I verified. They did something else. I verified. I had to go to like another email address because they wanted a secondary to make sure I verified. They got me logged into my account. They had me set up a thing to where it will text me if someone tries to log into my account from a different computer. And they said, do you play any other games or anything? Like, what all do you play? Do you play online games on here or anything? I was like, I don't know. I've played Sator, you know, like Apex Legends, if you consider that online. They're like, do you play FIFA? <laughs> I'm like, FIFA? Uh, no, mm. I don't. They're like, all right, well, you have a lifetime ban on your account for FIFA. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, what? Someone hacked your account, used a bunch of, <laughs> yeah, uh, of scripts and stuff, and got themselves banned. The, so, yeah, for those FIFA playing cards or whatever. Yeah. So I, I have a lifetime ban on any FIFA game on my Origin account now. I can't stand this story. And I'm like, <laughs> all right, well, I don't play FIFA, so I guess I don't care. Is there any other issues? And they're like, no, that's about it. And I'm like, okay. Well, thank you, Puke. Like, <laughs> I appreciate it. <laughs> and I'd ask did them. you, like, write it phonetically how you thought it sounded? <laughs> no, no. It's done. No, I never did that. But, yeah, that's what I – so I got it back now. I have access, I think, to, like, my Battlefield and I think, like, my Battlefront and all that. But I can never, ever play FIFA again on that account. Mm. 
Or you have far, far less patience than me. So I can't imagine oh, how man. you were. <laughs> <laughs> Melanie was like playing WoW behind me while I'm like doing this fucking, what the fuck is this, what is this bitch talking about? You know? Like, <laughs> Dude, I, I, every time I can, even if I have to wait longer, I call. When I call, it's always better. Uh, it's never better when you call. It's Text always, chat is the way to go. It's always better when I call. Man. All the time. Yeah, but what if you can't understand them? <laughs> I mean, my mom, I, you know, I can understand her, like all her friends, like... I'm I'm okay at understanding people. Luckily for me, I have grown up watching a lot of different <coughs> like nationality of, of films and TV shows and stuff. I can understand people pretty well. I have too. <laughs> but you get one of those French Canadians on the line. You well, understand nothing. Thank well, God you didn't I watch just, a lot of the I stuff. I just call up my buddy <laughs> who's French Canadian. I have him translate. I like put the phones like sixty nine the phones together, <laughs> and then he text chats me what Cow, he's saying. Man. Jesus, That's funny. You even watching? So yeah. I want to know. I'm, I'm like eighty percent sure. Because, like, either Asta, we had a language barrier. <laughs> yes. And that was the biggest issue, or it was a bot. Uh, I don't know what the issues lot, were. Who it would was name their bot of, Asta? I don't it know. Because it just kept, like, ignoring your question? Like, nothing was really, it all felt like it was very scripted of answers, you know? And a lot of it was like, well, no, this isn't what I have. Whereas Puke, like, the responses he gave was like, well, that sucks, you know? Like, it felt like a natural person. Yeah. <laughs> Whereas the other one just felt so repetitive and circly and it's like well it's relying on the information it's reading on me <laughs> or it, yeah it was a language thing i don't know one of the could two. have been a language thing or like somebody just half-assing and like copy pasting responses from a <coughs> like just a yelling at like a an answer <laughs> list thing and they're doing that like automated thing and you're like one one like mm -hmm. please i didn't hear that one I hate those things. Yeah. So my my week has been talking to chats and tech supports of trying to fix video game related issues. Yeah. To which it's like GameStop over. Again. I still have patience, I still have man. issues with all those. Sure. All those situations I still have an issue with. You somewhere. got a, you got a lot of yeah. patience and you're a good dad. Because I tell you what, if if I existed in this time and and I was I having a problem, but dad, can you help? He'd be like, no. Go outside. We're still on my tomato sticks and sword fighting. Well, <laughs> that's what he said. See, the, yeah, I would have had to figure it out too. Yeah. And I think to be old enough to play the game, you need to be old enough to rectify this problem. That's and, true. And figure out either a way around it or get yeah. it fixed. Mm. Well, I mean, I, I looked at stuff too, and I found that the date of birth thing, you could change your date of birth if you logged into an, a Sony mobile something account mm -hmm. that most people don't have. And I was like, oh, well, I'll just do that. But it doesn't do it if it believes you're a minor currently. So what people have been oh. done, what people have done is that people who are say ten, they've made an account, lied about their age so they sure. could do what they wanted to, and then once they're old enough and it's fucked them over, and they're like, well, fuck, my date of birth's wrong, I gotta fix it. Now they go back in and change it back to what it really is. Gotcha. So it won't work for me. So I either gotta just ride this out and just say, sorry, you can't play Fortnite. For like, you know, or make them fake accounts years. and let them play Fortnite, but they can't buy anything on it. Yeah. Right, because so. then like the new account, they wouldn't be able to keep any of those. Yeah, so it's like which one's the worthy account? I don't yeah. know. <sighs> That's uh, is all Fortnite stuff cosmetic. Yeah, for the most part. Uh, Rick, you talking about like saying like, well, if she can't figure it out. She can't do it. It just I don't know why it made me think back of like, you know, like you know, when you're a kid and you get a Christmas gift like a toy that you can't actually get out of the package. You uh -huh. have to have like your dad get like a knife yep. or scissors or something. I just imagine you just throwing a knife at you and be like, figure it out. <laughs> you it, you know? And she's like, <laughs> accurate. <laughs> yeah. Ugh. So that was my week. Well, you're a very patient father. <laughs> All while sick. Yeah. Well, I mean, at least it wasn't like I was, all right, I got to go outside and fucking chop some wood. And, well, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know? Yeah. Saturday, I, I went home Friday and like I took medicine and passed out. And just like I slept like pretty much all night. And into the afternoon of Saturday. Mm -hmm. Jeez. Hmm. So that was the worst of it. Yeah. Sunday was better, and it's been better each day. But I've been trying not to be, like, terrible and coughing and <laughs> sniffling and stuff through videos and whatnot. Sure, I understand. Yeah. That's why you canceled your stream, right? Yeah, I canceled Kingdom Hearts 3 for, for two reasons. One was, like, I was debating on it beforehand of being like, man, I'm, all, I'm still all stuffy, coughing a whole bunch. Like, I don't know if that's going to be fun to watch. And then also I got up here and started to get things set up and Kingdom Hearts 3 wasn't installed at all. So yeah. I had to reinstall oh. it all. And I'm like, well, fuck, I'm going to be it. I'm gonna be late and sniffly. I'll just go home and rest and start start fresh next Monday. Yeah, <laughs> gotcha. Well, I, I've, been, uh, I've been streaming uh, Walking Dead the last couple of weeks for me. Um, 
Saturday was fun. I, I finished the first season, and then I, I, you know, a lot of people told me, like, skip the DLC, go right into Chapter 2. And so you're like, no, don't do that. You need it. And so I ended up just putting up a poll and letting the viewers decide. So that's what happened with me. I think there was only a couple people that were like, fuck this, <laughs> mad about it, but most people were happy. And I've had a really good time with this. So it's what did you of, end up playing? a lot of fun. What's that? What did you end up playing, the DLC or Season 2? Season 2. Oh, just okay. went right into season two. Are you going to do the DLC later? Maybe. Or no? Maybe. We'll what, see. what about after season two? What are you going to do? Uh, probably go to season six. Just skip everything. There's Sounds no like a good six. idea. We don't know. There could be. There's not. <laughs> well, Telltale's done. Yeah, no. I'll, I'll, we'll put aside. You know, I don't want to get stuck playing the same game for, you know, four or five streams or anything. I like to try to keep it fresh and moving and stuff. But I'm getting the gist, and it's, it is a really fun game. So, yeah, yeah, not like Zelda. Not like Zelda, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Zelda's gotta keep different. Got to keep it fresh and moving. There's a difference between, hey, I like this game, and this is my favorite game series of all time. You know? Yeah. So, for me. That's fair. Yeah. Like, of all time, Calvin. I, I get you. Like, yeah. all time. You want me to go through the timeline? Because I will. Go ahead. All right. There's, there, there's two different splits that you have to factor in. There's a child timeline and the hero timeline. And one, Gandalf is covered and sealed away in the sacred realm. And the other one, he's free in the hero. God, I won't do it anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I got bored. Sorry. <laughs> uh, speaking of best of all time, I had a pretty good weekend. Yeah. I watched a wrestling pay-per-view, AEW Revolution. Okay. I'm hyped because you hyped it up. It was amazing amazing it had what was possibly it kind of depends on your style of wrestling that you like but yeah. arguably the best tag team match of all time really okay yeah. it was it went for like over 30 minutes it's these two teams that up until this point have been friends and they've been friends and working together for like five over five years sure and they were in japan a lot before that and they've just started recently teasing like a breakup. And the thing I love about great wrestling matches is they have different levels of storytelling. So if you are a new fan, like I had a bunch of people in the house who hadn't watched a lot of wrestling, certainly not a lot of wrestling recently, watching it. And they all love the match. And they could understand some of the stories that the match was telling. For example, like they were trying to focus on Kenny Omega's shoulder because his finisher has him it's called the one wing angel which i know Shane oh yeah me and rick talked about this extensively <laughs> would love um he has to put him up on his shoulder and he has to like do a move to them right okay so like they can understand that level of storytelling mm -hmm. but people like me can understand the level of storytelling of they're doing or countering moves that they've been doing for the last five years in like big matches because they've all been together they've all been training with each other they know each other so well yeah and so, like Anakin, Obi Wan fighting on Musafar. Exactly, mm. and, and that's what this was. Oh my God, that's a high bar. Oh my God, it gotcha. was absolutely incredible, and it had it went. It was fantastic the entire time. There were no slow bits. The ending was great. I just absolutely loved it, and I want to see more. So that's amazing. Man, what a match! I'm. Now I'm just thinking about a wrestling match live orchestrated, like conducted by John Williams. And, that, and looks as good as a Mustafar fight. That would have made it better. Yeah. But that's about the only thing I just that imagine like, there's a match going on, and then you just hear, Koda! Darth Maul starts walking down. <laughs> <laughs> there were some really other good matches, too. Um, I felt so bad for everyone after that match, because that was, like, in the middle of the show. And then the women went on after that, and the crowd was just dead. Mm. Like, they had exhausted themselves almost for the rest of the night, because there was nothing after that that they were quite as hyped for, because yeah. they were so hyped for like 40 minutes. I think they just lost their voices. Most of them passed out. Probably. <laughs> Several of them pissed their pants. And there was just Damn nothing money. left. Yeah. But All right. it was a good show. If you like wrestling, I highly recommend checking it out. That was AEW, AEW. Revolution. Okay. Did, did you have to change your pants? He wasn't wearing pants. <laughs> I, I, I just threw them away. Going, we don't need pants. <laughs> <laughs> so that was probably the highlight yeah. of, of my week. A and watching that with a bunch of people who haven't watched wrestling for a while or are new to wrestling and having them be almost as excited as I was about it hmm. and like screaming and jumping off the couch and everything. Did your daughter jumping watch with off you? the couch. Yeah, she does. Cool, cool. It's hard on oh, knees. so good. Man, it was... Were you, Calvin, were you jumping off the couch? Was no. it you? Was I wasn't sick. there, actually. I was sick. <laughs> sick. <laughs> yeah. So Thursday, uh, Thursday night, actually, I texted you guys and said that Carmen wasn't feeling good. We were going to the ER. Mm -hmm. She'd been puking for about four hours. 
and I'd been awake all night. She started puking around midnight, and we came home from the hospital at uh, like 7.30 a.m. So we were both exhausted, um, and I had to get sleep. I wouldn't have been any good on camera. And then over the weekend, Sunday night, I started feeling sick, or... Was it Sunday or Saturday night? I don't know. I you think it was Saturday tell night. Us. I think it was <laughs> Saturday story. night. I was uh, I was feeling bad about eleven thirty, and I started puking. And luckily, because Carmen had gotten sick first, she had the good anti nausea meds. Oh, okay, yeah. <laughs> so that helped a lot. <laughs> sure. But a, a side effect of this me, uh, these meds nausea, not nausea. You track skunks. Severe headache. Uh, it was so bad. That would it's, make me nauseous. So. <laughs> it, I mean, it almost did. It, w- it was that bad. Like, I had extreme light sensitivity. I was knocked out on the on the couch and in an armchair for like six hours. I just I couldn't do anything until like the nausea passed and I could stop taking this medicine and stuff. So I didn't come in Friday or Monday because. She was sick, then I was sick. Mm-hmm. But now we're over it, and we can eat real food again. How's your house smell? Which I know is a weird thing for people that weren't here last week, but <laughs> how's your house? Still bad. Still bad? Yeah. yeah. It seems fine in the morning when I go to work. When I come home, it's like, oh, man, it's still there. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it, it hits me in the face every time. You're used to it. Yeah, you're, you're used, used to it. Yeah. There. You don't smell at all, but maybe we're used to it. So, yeah. yeah. What do you think, Rick? You got the magic nose. I haven't smelled it. All right. All right. It's not as bad upstairs, but when you go downstairs and think about doing laundry, it's like, nope, not going to do that yet. Just going to start <laughs> buying clothes now? <laughs> we might have to. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, uh, so Calvin had the opposite effect where my puke helped me. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's true. What was the name of the girl again? Asta. Asta. You should have just asked the right technician. I'm so sorry I asked. Eric, because it's all your fault. <laughs> there's one more wrestler I want to mention. So uh, there's a wrestler called Orange Cassidy, who I had seen before, but no one else in my house had. And he quickly became Maggie's favorite wrestler. Because his gimmick is... It's gonna, it might sound stupid, but it's actually amazing. So his gimmick is apatheticness. Yeah. Like, he's too cool for school, right? So, like, if, if he goes in to, like, wrestle or fight someone, he throws, like, the lightest kicks. He never takes his hands out of his pockets, right? <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> what? But he's kind of like the Hulk, where if you, like, mess with him or break his glasses, he becomes the best wrestler. Yeah. <laughs> and he moves at a million miles an hour. He does all these incredible, incredible moves, like, Legitimately one of the best wrestlers out there. <laughs> <laughs> I love that stick. It's so funny. And whenever that switch happens, it's just one of the best things in wrestling. It's like Seth Because you know it's going to happen. So you every just... wrestling match, this guy comes out there doing very little, and then someone breaks his glasses and he well, flips out. So far, he's never been in a wrestling match in AEW. Oh, okay. So like he's been backstage, or he's been like a manager, like mm-hmm. coming out with other people. And so um, Pac messed with him. And he agreed to a match with him. And he started out the match, and he's just, like, has his hands in his pockets. And he's, like, doing, like, this, like, with his feet, uh-huh. you know? Um, he sounds like a real-life anime character. Yeah, It does. is, <laughs> and yeah, it's, it's amazing. It's, it sounds like, uh, Setsu, what's his name, Setsu or whatever? Uh, Who is this guy? What's his name? Orange uh, Cassidy. Is it Orange? That's it. Orange. Cassidy. Orange Cassidy, yeah. I immediately bought Maybe Maggie see. one of his t-shirts. <laughs> uh, that's, that's, that's so much enjoyment you got. You're like, God damn it. He's got on your phone and started buying. Yeah. yeah the you. Uh, the gimmick you. is uh, freshly squeezed. Ah. Uh, freshly squeezed. <laughs> so what, when he breaks his glasses, he's freshly squeezed? Uh, yep. You're flesh, freshly squeezed. Fleshly mm. squeezed. Fleshly. I mean, you will be. <laughs> but he's been working this gimmick for years. It started out where he was just hung over all the time. Yeah. Uh, but it's later turned it's into evolved. he's just more like too cool for school lazy kind of thing until it's business time and then it's business time. it's like when he gets serious <laughs> yeah that's a gotcha. good that's a good point someone said it's like punch. killua yeah sure okay like killer just <laughs> yeah kind of oh, who's gonna get it go one two three not it not it not it hi uh, i think it was eric i can get it oh but you gotta take this oh cool rick's never gotten it 
Who knows? They're knows? They're coming. <laughs> they don't know. We got some tree streams. Apparently, we got four. Well, there's tacos coming. <gasps> I saw that on a Grubhub thing because that, that's, that's the only thing we ever get. I had gotten it, you never would have made it up. The, the, steps, the only tacos. the only thing we ever get from Grub, Grubhub is Taco Bell. So yeah. maybe it's not tacos. Well, but could be chodis. It could be KFC. Well, tacos. Yes. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> Rich just yells his tacos. Um, you you guys know a thing are, I are found you, out? Are you you got them? What? No okay. What? So you just like told him to leave? <laughs> like, nah, nah, we got Shane. He, Rick, Rick goes over there. He makes them come up. <laughs> they bring to the table. Do I always make them come up? Uh, well, not always. But um, there was something I found out today. Unless they refuse because they're not allowed. Have you guys? Did you guys know? I just found out. Yeah. Apparently, some people can, some people can't, and everyone usually thinks that that's just how it is. Do you know you can flex Roll your tongue, inner ear muscles? Yeah. Like, can you guys make rumblings? Like, I can make clicking. Oh, I can oh make, yeah. yeah. I've always been able to do that. I can make click. No, no, you're making, you're rumbling your mouth. You don't do that. This is all in your ears. Bo, bo. Yeah. It's, it's a, no, no. That's not that either. <laughs> I, I can make it sound like you're listening into a seashell. It, it's like, mm, kind of sounding. No, it's like, like for a, me. It's like oh, a, no. but I can also make, like, my ears will, cl- Almost. I can okay. click and pop my ears. All right. It's a uh, there's a, there's a Reddit page for this called the Ear Rumblers of something. Okay. So Estonia, you have a very sensitive mic right in front of you. I need you to do that into your in the mic. I don't think it works. Let, no, let's just try. I don't think it. it does. Let's try. All right. Not on. Bo. Doesn't no, fucking not, work. You can't hear anything. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> yeah. But I'm just curious it's, if anyone can do it, especially like Eric I being deaf it. in one ear. It's not falsifiable. Yeah. Like how can we? How do we know you're doing it? Yeah, I'm fucking doing it right now. I'm oh, doing it right now, baby. I've, right now. I've <laughs> always been able to do that, and I've never really understood what it was. I thought it was just like gently flexing, like the back jaw muscle or something. So what? What there is is there's a there's a muscle in your ear that is often used to help, like if if something's really loud. Yeah. It's supposed to help try to like. Lessen how to much like you're muffle, hearing and stuff. To like yeah. restrict the, like that's the idea the of the out. muscle to begin with, I guess. Okay. But that muscle can literally be like flexed, and right. when you do it, it like vibrates. Yes. And your ear can hear it. What is really? the process to flex this muscle? Like, what well, do you do? like for me, if I like, my easiest way of doing it is, it's almost like, it's easy when I close my eyes because I, I like push, I like, I don't know, I'm putting pressure here i feel but it's it's making like a slight is it like rumble trying to yawn ears. like activating a lot of people when they yawn will do it because like i i can <sighs> like I, I i can like do the yawning like you're trying like to like, like, you're, like you're trying to like it's at the very end of the your... yawn when you're like <clears throat> like right there well because it's not making noise for me but like i can like activate the yawn mechanism but it feels like it's more it's like when you're yawning and you're pushing underneath out. my ear, upper jaw. I don't know. Mine's yeah. right here. Like I can feel it. Yeah, I don't, I don't think I, I can, can do that. I feel it in, oh, here, in my ear. You're like yeah. Moses, Aaron. But like, I just thought it was a thing that anyone could do. Yeah. And like, I can also like, I can make my ear. I can hear clicking if I. Can you I, don't, hear, I don't know how to describe. Can it. you like, hear them, Eric? It's not like I don't. Know, I don't know my, what this is. It's not like using my tongue or anything, but like. Can, I, I, it's like moving it. And I, I hear like it's can, like when you make your ears pop almost. Yeah. Kind of, but it's not like that's what I'm trying. Pressure, like it's I'm, not doing that either. Though. I gotta be honest. I feel like because I came in here a little later when you guys were sitting down. I feel like this is a thing that you guys discussed. Let's see if Eric will like admit. And then be like, you fucking idiot! No one can do that. You're lying. No, there is, there's, a, there's a whole Reddit page dedicated <laughs> really? to it. Okay. Like, look, look up like ear rumblers of Reddit or something like that. I've never googled that. Yeah, okay. Rick, if you Google ear rumblers of uh, can, can you ear roll rumblers. Dude, it's of called. Reddit. It's a tiny muscle. Was called the tip. To, to, to something. I've went deep on Reddit before. I never something went Something with deep. a T. I forget exactly what it was. T. Something with a T. With a T. I forget exactly what it was, but yeah. There's something with a T that it, uh, that it started with. I felt like the muscle that you're using. Ear rumblers assemble. Tibia. Yeah, that's the, re- that's the Reddit page. Uh-huh. They, that's th- a bone. I was reading some on the chat. I, I, I'm pretty sure. leg. I found, oh man, do I remember, did I, did I save it or anything? Can you roll your tongue? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Not everyone can do that. It's genetic. Uh, 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 I can do all that. Uh, I can do all uh, this. Uh, 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 oh, whoop. Uh, there you go. Uh, That's weird. Uh, tensor, tensor. Double. Yeah, the tensor tympani. That sounds right, Gorgon Fish. The tensor tympani is like the muscle that you're like 
making rumble basically. I, I gotta admit that sounds like a Pokemon that evolves into that Pokemon. <laughs> Takes her and then evolves into Pony. Pony. But yeah, so I don't know. It was just something I, I, I how the hell did I find that? I don't know how I find. I never find anything. That's true. And I found this. And you make and you, you get mad at people for finding things. Yeah, but this wasn't like a spoiler. <laughs> it wasn't. The other day, I was like, I was like sitting down. We were waiting for a reaction to start, and I was looking at something. I'm like, huh, look at this interesting fact. And Aaron's like, why are you looking at that? What? Huh? I can't remember what the fact was, but I was like, oh, isn't that interesting? And Aaron was like, yeah, interesting. And you go, why are you looking at that? I'm like, what do you mean? It's just an interesting fact. I was like, yeah, but why? You were like so mad. I remember this. I wasn't like I don't remember staying it. in the ignorance or something. Aaron's thinking about all the things he gets mad about. Like, I don't remember that one. I don't remember that. Yeah, remember some things. Funny. Oh, I remember yeah. being like, "I'm allowed to look at things." Uh. <coughs> but yeah, I don't know. It was just interesting. I didn't know if anyone else could do it. Calvin says he can. Yeah, I had to take your word for it because I don't know if anyone. I mean, may, I, know what they're doing. Or I not. think it's the same thing. Uh, like it might. Like most people can do it when they yawn. It's yeah. like a. You'll hear like a slight. It, it sounds like a rumble. Almost. I, mean, I can do it like this. Yeah, and you hear like a rumble in your ear, kind of like mm, almost. It's, it sounds like I'm listening to a seashell, kind of. Okay, I could see that. That's basically the same effect. Yeah. It's like closing off your your oral canal. I wonder if that has any um, tying into whether or not you feel anything from ASMR. <laughs> Maybe. ASMR doesn't really work on me. It does on me. What's it stand for huh. again? Uh, I don't know. I can look it up. Uh, Make sure you why are you looking shit up? Huh? <laughs> like, I remember I watched a video. I'm like, man, what is it? And who, who did I watch? I feel like it was... Uh, Oh, Parks and Rec, uh, uh, Ludgate. April. It was yeah. her. Oh, no, yeah. yeah, she did a thing. I guess. She was doing one, and I was just listening to it, and I'm like, it's weird, but it doesn't like, I know people talk about how it like tingles their body, and they get yeah, like, these sensations, like the, and for me, it was just like, chills and well, stuff. I hear it over here. Autonomous sensory meridian response. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I don't I, it. I've never had it work on me. It's weird. It's like, why are you just whispering? It stop feels whispering, like when you me. use that like head cage thing. Well, for, really? Oh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, it feels like that. Hmm. Like really? the, the scalp massager thing? No, I don't get that. You That's feel weird. that sensation? I do. I do not. That's so cool. it's because it's like affecting both of yours? I, I don't know how it works. Mm. But I, I, I have tried it before. Hmm. Maybe it's impossible huh. to work with me. Talk to an inner ear expert. Maybe I'm just constantly flexing that muscle. That's why I can't hear. <laughs> yeah. Well, like I was really wondering for you if you would like feel anything or in your right ear or anything. But yeah, I, I feel everything that happens in my ear. I just can't hear. Like, if you screamed into my ear, you, it hurts. Okay. I was going to say, you feel everything. That ha- like, what's happening in your ear? Yeah, like, <laughs> like, like there's like, like little men running around Well, like, there. all the <laughs> sensation and still stuff there, it's just that whatever, like, connects their brain to being able to hear, like, that connection's just not there. Sure. It all still does it. It just doesn't send it to the brain. But it sends the pain. It's weird that you can feel yeah. the pain to you yell. <laughs> yeah. Because I feel like... Could you yeah, still feel I, I the feel, beat? I, you yeah, can feel beats of your death. Yeah. I, I feel like it hurts when you Not scream you because death. it's so loud and you hear it so no, loud. No, it's because your eardrum pounds. It's You're just there pounding and it's making no sound, it's baby. It's fucking vibrating in there, yeah. <laughs> All right. I mean, yeah. it still senses pain. Like, the pain receptors don't transmit the audio signal to the brain, mm. but you can still feel the pain. All right. Of so the, of like the tissue lyric. sensing that it's being damaged. Yeah. The, what you did just said sounded like a rap. <laughs> All right, are we done with the week? <laughs> um, well, I, I got a few things, but okay, maybe I'll wait. Now, nah, I guess I'll see. But I wanted to have a phone. My, I'm not logged on my Twitch, so I want to be able to see people's reactions. All right, but, uh, I'll let you know. So I got a few tattoos this past week. <gasps> so, uh, Although yeah. not one like Cody Rhodes, like right. he was planning to. We'll see All right. All right, yeah. This is, first uh, one. This is real, everybody. First but right best on one. The lower back. <laughs> <laughs> um, should have gotten like a, a temporary tattoo or something. That'd be great. <laughs> that's a good. That's a good idea. Yeah, that'd be good. And then it just washes <laughs> off or something. Just sharpened it on. I want it to be Aaron's face. Why? Aaron's face on my ass. Okay, so um, first one, I guess, right here on my hand, which is Calebra. Cale- yeah, that's a Pokemon, right? Um, yes, it is. Okay. It evolves from Alakazam. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, hard I have Fuck on my thumb. Idiot. Alakazam is the final evolution. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. <laughs> um, a hard I have on my hand. Well, what uh, is what is this one? Chat says Calvin? Question mark. No, no, I was gonna. No, get... it's it's like it's when it's you're he, being smart. That's you're the being stuff. Clever. No, that's what the police officers wear. The vest. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Kevlar. So you um, don't want anybody to know what this means? No, it's Hebrew. It means it means uh, bad dog. 
Bad dog? Bad dog. Like, bad dog. Calavera. Yeah. Okay. This is a heart, obviously. All right, what is that? And mean? this is a gluck. It could be like an onion. It could be, like or an, like an ass. Well. What happened to her shoulders? <laughs> <laughs> it, does, it does kind of look like an onion upside down, doesn't it? Yeah. 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 And this is a glock of a tortoise I drew. Yeah, this is awesome. This is my favorite one. Yeah. Like, I have nothing bad to say. Nope. It's cool. It's great. Uh, Ollie, what's funny enough, though, I have a mole right here. I don't know if you can see it. I do. He's got but a it's one hat. of those things that's like, you know, he we... We didn't really toy with the idea because we already kind of were making it. He's like, man, we should have made that eye the mole. Yeah. <laughs> but I don't really like when that happens. Or he's like eating it. Or you should make yeah. the bottom of a light bulb and he's having an idea. Well, yeah, yeah, I know, but no. Or, <laughs> or he's, it's his mole. Yeah. Or he's balancing it on his head. And that's why he's such a happy boy. Maybe, yeah. But it was already there. <laughs> now, I'm just, now, I just, now the mole just bothers me. You cut it off. I should. I thought about it. Burn it. I thought about cutting. Just uh, move the tattoo, and then it won't. I thought about people won't notice it. Right here. <clears throat> and then uh, I got this one right here. Oh shit! What side is it? Right here. It's whitely backwards, right? Yeah, it is. Yeah. <laughs> it's Greek. Some call me the reverse. It's Greek for "I love you." So cool. It's kind of cool. Nice. Yeah. Why Greek? And uh, Greeks Your cool. daughter drew the heart, right? Yes. 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 I think you missed that. Yeah. So, yeah. uh, in terms of like with these new tattoos, in terms of pain level, what was the worst one to get? The hand right here. The hand here. Yeah, the hand for sure. I could see that. I was yeah. gonna get like a couple of my neck, uh, but I was like, I don't know, because he was just saying script in a few years might look like shit unless you make it real big. And I'm like, well, I don't want something that looks like shit in ten years, like real huge on my neck. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, like I don't want it on my neck, but I don't want to make it that big so it doesn't look like shit so mm -hmm. like you know i just you know maybe like a cross or something like a symbol back here but i didn't want yeah so i just said yeah no, no never mind <laughs> yeah that's but, yeah, but the, the most painful thing ever was when i got on my ribs mm. and he was like yeah man ribs suck <laughs> see he's like i you know i mean this guy actually uh the, the, uh what's his name i told him to give him a shout <laughs> Is he the same guy that did the wave con tattoos? He's not the same guy. It's the same place. Same, same place, studio. Yeah. So what's yeah. that place called? I'll look uh, it up. It's called Monkey's Uncle. Monkey's Uncle. And um, his name is Corey. Isn't yeah. that it? Corey. I'm looking uh, it up. His name is Corey, and then he has hyphen painted sparrow. I don't know. If that's his like his little username. I don't know. Yeah, okay. Uh, but yeah, he he was a cool dude. Um, I mean, he was just giving me shit for some stuff. He's like, if, you know, if this tat. If, he's like, and he was telling me like, yeah, if this sucked. I would tell you. You know, and he was he was a straight shooter. I, I liked him. So when you spend like three or four hours with someone, you know, like in the, and they're putting something on my body that's gonna be there forever. You know, I try to make pretty good conversation. Yeah. Yeah, you know I mean. Sure. But uh, you don't want to piss that guy off. I, I, yeah. Well, I didn't want to be like a Nazi either. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? No, but I'm, I'm happy with him. Uh, so I thought, you know, isn't I, there like a story or a video of a guy that like the, I asked the him, guy that was the tattoo dude hated the guy that he was tattooing. And it was like on his back, and he was supposed to do like a snake or something. He did a dick. I, I well, <laughs> I brought up a story with him about this chick who cheated on a guy, and she came in like years later to get mm -hmm. a tattoo. Yeah. Um, I, I think the one down the street is Fantasy to Flesh, isn't it? No, that's the yeah. one on Pike. Yeah. yeah, that's way down the way. You're right. It's by Long John. Yeah. Silvers. Yeah. And, and you know the story of like the chick who cheated came in to get a tattoo from her ex boyfriend. Years, years later. Yeah. Like this big awesome detailed dragon on the back mm. and it was the biggest veinous penis ever is that what the story was <laughs> and she filed for like, like a lawsuit and everything yeah. else uh, yeah, I, I, for like assault sure but he told me he thinks that was like an urban legend an urban legend sure. but he said there's a, he actually knew someone who knew someone true story of of uh a tattoo in the back it's supposed to be something I can't remember what it was but he made it like a steaming pile of shit with flies and everything else <laughs> <Jeez>. <laughs> yeah Shane that would make sense that the one next door oh, is called okay. the Painted Sparrow. Okay. That makes sense. That's why it would say Corey painted, hyphen Painted, painted, painted Sparrow. Sparrow. I thought it was like, <laughs> you know, like, <laughs> like Rick Sniper Snake CQC, like yeah, how he used to do that shit. You know, Aaron, Top Gun, stuff like that. Yeah, that's how I sign off everything. <laughs> Top Gun. Painted Sparrow. But yeah, it was it was cool. So, you know, yeah, it, that's the news. Yeah. Cool. I, I saw someone in chat was like, hopefully all the translations are right. Like, cause I've heard of people having things that are oh yeah the incorrect. It's supposed to be like water and air, but it means like noodle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> to toilet seat or something. Yeah. You know? uh, Zane Malik asked Shane, "I really like the tattoo on your left arm. What is it, and when did you get it?" Uh, mm, yeah. Uh, 
they're a little sore still and my shoulder's killing me um it is actually an ox and uh, actually i need to get touched up and i i the plan was to make it a sleeve i mm -hmm. um of like an ox like a man a bird stuff like that you know what i mean for like us symbols of the the gospels of the bible like gospel of luke is an ox or a bull uh, but um so yeah i got it four years ago i really like it um i need to get touched up so yeah gotcha thanks though That'd be terrible that he's like doing like I mean, he told me like Greek he, or something like that. And he messes up like the way the symbol is and makes it a different letter. It means something entirely different. Yeah, it's pretty it's pretty sensitive, but like yeah, it, it it's all good though. <laughs> I had a I had a couple friends, you know, wave riders <coughs> who speak the language. Said so like yeah, that's right. And I asked someone who wouldn't know that one, you know, like hey, is this person lying? You know, and we went to Google Translate and everything. I know it's not perfect, but we went to multiple things. And he's like, I want to make sure, man. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah it, it was cool yeah I, I appreciate him a lot so if you guys come to WaveCon there's some events that happened last year where a bunch of people got our logo on their shoulder so yeah ask for Corey yeah cool okay. is that it for the week for you that's yeah I got a tattoo every day Chris is like <laughs> and you okay. didn't get the blind wave symbol for shame <laughs> <laughs> I thought about getting it where I got this heart actually on my thumb but I just ended up not doing it I don't know like I'd rather just get blind wave maybe I don't know. The words? Yeah, the words. I like script a lot, but the, I mean, the symbol's cool, so I don't Let's know. get all five of us on your ass. Yeah. I could. At the reaction table. <laughs> but you're, he's going to get himself on his ass as well. Well, yeah, oh, obviously. Okay. Dang, that means Rick's in the middle. <laughs> <laughs> I get a cheek. <laughs> we, we, I mean, he's got, he, he does real good art. He, uh, we actually have conversations about, like, uh, you know, getting a tattoo on your asshole. And like how people would do it. I'm like, why the hell would they do that? He's like, I don't know if people do it, man. He's like, I've always said no. Yeah. So, yeah, he's never done it. But he's, right before I came in, he was doing this chick's nipple, I guess he was telling me. And she just wanted it on the nipple and wanted, like, a heart. She wanted her nipple to be turned into a heart, like, fully colored and everything. So she was, like, crying and shit and everything. He's like, what the hell do you think is going to happen? I cry, too. Like, well, you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, it's just a bullshit idea. He's, like, shaming just her. A needle in your titty. He's, like, shaming her and shit. <laughs> I'm like, yeah. He's like, hell yeah, I'll do just it. Just use your Sharpie I'll every day. I shame him every time. <laughs> these people coming in, they want these stupidest tattoos. And he said it in not choice words I could say on podcast. <laughs> this guy was real. He was real nuts. He was like uh, mad. <laughs> 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 Fucking shit. Well, I mean, he, he, he considers his... himself an artist, you know, and he uh -huh. has his art on the wall. He's like, an, he's like a really good drawer. He did like a, uh, he did like a Mandalorian. He did a, um, Shit, what's his name? Deathstroke. He did this really cool Deathstroke on this guy's shoulder. He Sweet. told me, and he showed it to me. Yeah, like it's real fucking good. Yeah, he do photorealistic stuff. Yeah, Sweet. Hmm. I just, be yeah, I, I really too fucking nervous messing it, up. I mean, yeah, <laughs> you know, yeah. to be a tattoo artist. Yeah, yeah, you just got to practice a lot, man. Yeah, yeah, better than a surgeon. Yeah, yeah. At least, <laughs> at least the tattoo is just like topical. <laughs> yeah, but I mean, I, I really love them all. I really love the turtle sketch. So. Yeah, I think he did a good job. I mean, he left a couple of details out because he said, like, if I made every detail in this thing, like, it might blend together and <coughs> bleed, like, bleed into each other. Yeah. But, yeah, I love it. Love them. I'm happy with them, so. All right. So, what Payne says his nipples hurt. Uh, yeah. We've got some news items here. The Most, news! Mostly from Shane. The first one, mm. Last of Us TV show in the works, HBO, oh. will be produced by Sony and PlayStation Productions. Yeah, Interesting. HBO. Hmm. Uh, the same director of Chernobyl. Mm -hmm. Is working on the adaptation. Oh. Holy shit! All right, Got some and the writer and Neil uh, Neil Druckmann or whatever his name from The Last of Us. Director Neil Druckmann will team up with Chernobyl creator Craig Mazin on a television adaptation of The Last of Us for HBO. Yeah. Okay, so he's not director; they're just teaming up. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay. I mean, he, he directed and helped and wrote the you know the game, so he's right. teaming up. Yeah, which so I think it's great. Yeah, I mean, I, are they going to go with like this a straight up adaptation of that story, or does it take place in that world? Yeah, yeah. Like I don't any, know if you can say if adapt like the an game, original, but right. yeah, I mean, the story's so good. I mean, I, I think it'd be pretty smooth. Yeah, yeah. You know I mean, I uh, uh, unlike you know the Prince of Persia and Tomb Raider, where yeah. it's like oh, heavy gameplay. It's amazing games. It's but, always a thing with uh, with game movie adaptations or show adaptations. Is like, do you take it exactly the way of the games, or do you alter it and have it based on the lore? Or like, what like, route do you go with like it? Like, I kind of liked how Assassin, the Assassin's Creed movie did it, where like yeah. it takes place in that story and it's kind of retelling 
some aspects from the first game, but it's actually a, it's a different story, and hmm. those things have happened, yes, but this is a different corner of the world. Yeah, gotcha. it's I never like a new it. character stuff. Yeah. Uh, yeah, and I really like the Assassin's Creed movie too. Me too. Yeah, it's some cool it. ideas. I watched. I uh, enjoyed it a lot. The newest, the, the newest Tomb Raider I watched. It was really good. I liked it yeah. a lot. Yeah, yeah. I haven't seen it, but I heard it was like a, a decent adaption. Yeah, yeah. I haven't seen. I don't know. But it, 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 so, sorry. Go ahead. No, go ahead, Rick. Go ahead. It, it seems that Mazin said getting a chance to adapt this breathtaking work of art has been a dream of mine for years. So I'm honored to do a partnership oh, with him. It'd be great if they got Hugh Jackman to be in that miniseries to play as Joel. I think it would be great, but I look at him, like Logan. It's, 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 it's too like close him. to Logan, isn't it? I don't care if he's typecast in that role. <laughs> no, I, I suppose so. I, I may get you. That's the first person that came to my mind. Yeah, but, but think about is it, it. Like, is it too would you, close to Logan? Would you prefer to have someone who constantly reminded you of Logan, or someone who was? Like a completely no, Logan fresh, constantly reminded me of that. That's true. <laughs> like a completely fresh character. Yeah, I, I want a guy who world. looks like him, who's a great actor, has accolades, and who can disappear into the role. I think people you know, say you don't want Hugh Jackman. What about Nikolaj? He's Costa got Waldo. all that. <laughs> what? Who? What about Nikolaj Costa Waldo? Nikolai? Uh, who's that? I mean, I uh, Jamie, Jamie Lannister. Lannister. Jamie Lannister. Yeah. Uh, I mean, did you see him in that prison movie? Oh, uh, uh, Shot Shot Collar, Collar <laughs> was awesome. I uh, haven't seen it yet. Shot Collar is good. Um. Yeah, I mean, he's he's a obviously a perfectly capable actor. Yeah. I just if I had to oh, choose, yeah. I'd choose Hugh Jackman. Jeffrey but. Dean Morgan would be fun. <laughs> he would, but he's, he he would have he's, fun with it. He's too. probably too old to do it now. Maybe. I don't know. I mean, do do after trouble? the flashback, maybe I don't know. Maybe I don't know. Anyway, if yeah. he's supposed to be thirty, and then uh -huh. like in his fifties, like yeah. after the yeah, and if he's like thirty-five, and then like fifty-five, yeah, I can imagine that. You just gotta get him de-aged, and if you have him before, I mean, it's also like just nothing saying that you have any of this stuff of. What's in the game, you know? Yeah, you yeah. have different characters in the same world, and that's a, this is a different story based on what's going on over there. Yeah, they need to do like, yeah, but yeah, Chernobyl, I'm... like, and Rick, you need to watch that. It's just a hell of a show. Mm. Chernobyl is good shit. It yeah. is good shit. I, I just like so much of my enjoyment of the, that game and the characters are wrapped in the gameplay and the like. What you don't have, you know, I feel like mm -hmm. it'd be hard to translate that to a, to a TV. Yeah, I, I, I certainly enjoy the gameplay stuff. Yeah. But, uh, I mean, just for me, capturing those horrifying moments of trying to sneak by a clicker. Yeah, I mean, because it's so cinematic even when you play it. Mm -hmm. So I yeah. think I think it'll come across. And, it, and what's great is they still have great characters and great story that will obviously come across if they do, right? Yeah. But the idea of, like, sitting there and maybe making, like, Hugh Jackman making a shank. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? I mean? Or a shiv, I mean. If he uses a nail bomb once, he would have used it Way more than I did. <laughs> like, I keep fucking forgetting about nail bombs. I just kept saving them for stuff. Me yeah, too. Man. And I got to the end of the game like, shit, I have 15. <laughs> yeah, but uh, love that game. Like having that Chernobyl guy, you know, just attached to it in any way. Yeah. Oh, that's so, so great. Yeah. Hmm. Like what he created in it, like the show, the atmosphere and like the color. Just awesome. Yeah, love. Yeah, they need that. They need to deal with Iconic. Yeah, have him play him. <laughs> oh man, yeah. there's the shit. Girl would be fine. <laughs> 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 yeah. Okay. That, yeah, that, that sounds fine. I think we talked a little bit about Last of Us last week too. Well, it's because we yeah. talked about all the like there's things. gonna be a movie. Yeah. And then I guess they're not playing the movie now, and they're moving ahead with this TV show. So they've just okay. changed. Yeah. Rails to. I prefer that honestly. If it's like an HBO quality thing. Yeah. Yep. Especially well, if a, I think a game that's, as long as that. I think that's what we talked about last week. Is like I don't know whether I would want it like a movie where they have to cut it so short, but yeah. like a miniseries would be great. Like I'd rather have a Nathan Drake TV show. You yeah. Know? Like, well, like, like cool. now that we've like these past ten years, like we've had such great TV. Yeah. Like I could take anything I love, make a TV show. Make a TV show. I think it might be better as long as it's like same quality. Well, obviously, if it's the same well, quality, it's, the same be quality it's not better. Well, I mean, if it's <laughs> like what I'm saying is like if it doesn't look like shit. You know what I mean? Like they didn't yeah. do the Star Wars live action show 10 years ago because George said we can't do it with the technology now. And now they have the technology and they're making like, you know, like to me, like high caliber stuff. You know what I mean? Like mm -hmm. the Mandalorian's great. Mm -hmm. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? It is. Yeah. It's amazing. Like, I love the Star Wars movies, but if all those movies were TV series, too, with the same actors, same shit, I'd be like, oh, my God, that's awesome. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah, nowadays, I feel like you can do yeah. a lot on TV that you couldn't do before, you know? Oh, so, yeah. Yeah. Just branching out. The, the reason I would say TV is just because you get more time to explore and see, you know, let the stories flesh out more. I mean, but at the yeah. same time, you can have things drag too long. Yeah. But you can, they all, can also give you time to really tell the story the way you want to. Mm -hmm. It's just that the, the technology is just like what you could do 10 years ago with a render farm and 100 visual effects stars, you can now do 
by yourself. You know, like so many of these people, like uh, like like indie directors or even for the smaller <coughs> movies that aren't necessarily a big budget, like they're doing their own credit scenes and Blender and stuff and figuring out and learning on YouTube and that shit's going up on theaters now. You know, it's great, mm-hmm. but. There's also we've lost that stigma that uh, it's, that's TV acting. All right, I'm not a TV actor. I act in films. Because we have all these ten, actors going to TV ten, now. Because ten years ago, that was a there was a difference there. Yeah. You know? yeah. Well, there was, yeah. There was a stigma. Fifteen years yeah. ago, like, or even twenty years ago, like if if you were a film actor that went to TV, your career was dead. Yeah. It's like you, you fucked up. You should have done that. You know. So I'm glad that we've gotten away from that. Yeah. yeah. I think that it can go both ways now. Is, oh yeah. Is a lot better for everybody. Go both ways. The way you said it, you're like. <laughs> <laughs> it's like you wanted me to stop there. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, but that's like most exciting thing for me. Like, and, and now I think about like what, like if this succeeds and opens the door, like, hey, you know, what else would I want to see? Like you mentioned, like it'd be cool to actually. I think Assassin's Creed TV show would work. I think it would work as a TV show. K- different seasons, you go to different places in history. Yeah, like a new season, a new place in history. Like fucking go to, you know, obviously uh, Colonial it, America. Yeah, you I go mean, to Greece. You go to you, you know go to how Egypt. like uh, like in Assassin's Creed, Desmond kind of looked like Altair. You know, like yeah. you could see like hey, I can see the family resemblance. Like just have the same actor play both characters, and then Desmond goes into another thing, and now he's playing Ezio. You know, yeah, I think I could do that. He's got a really versatile actor, kind of like that uh, get, get, that black the, orphan girl that plays so many characters in that show. Mm-hmm. It's an actor that can. Play Pull those things off. I think it'd be awesome. That's a good fucking idea. Actually. You just want to watch Quantum Leap. Yep. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but like, I don't think it, I don't know they'd ever do it because it's you know, but like a Mass Effect movie, like TV show, Calvin. Just oh man. <sighs> yeah, that would be that would be something. It can't be a movie. There's no way. There's no way. Unle- yeah. Unless they just do like a the trilogy. main the main plot in one we, and one and done. Do a trilogy thing. They have all the characters and none of the characters have any backstory. Or anyway, Dad. You no. do a Mass Effect trilogy. And yeah, you could, I, I would be okay with yeah. Kotor had a mass like a Kotor trilogy or something like that. You know, mm. like they went through and told like an old Republic story and made like a trilogy of movies telling those stories and what happened. I'm pretty cool, but is it based off the Kotor game? Like you'd have to lose so much character stuff. I mean, yeah, to an extent. I mean, some of those characters I didn't fucking use anyway. I wanted Jedi. <laughs> I know, but some, you know what I mean. Like, I know, but you some left people Nassi in the wasteland. You did didn't too. You? No, man, I took him out when I needed him in big story missions. Because I like Candor. Candor was a was Candor's my boy. Candor is good. He's good. Them droids. But the don't droids, believe in You don't Car- need a bunch of backstory don't on droids. Don't believe in Carthunasi on the Ebon Hawk, my friend. Who you, used? You're missing out some good what, stuff. Jolie and Juhani. Like yeah. they were Jedi, but I'm like, I didn't. Care about this old guy and a Jolie. hermit? Just leave Bendo. Yeah, he just you old find him in the Shadowlands. Kashyyyk, you got yeah. you got to take him with he's you. He's an old so hermit many guy. Great stories. <sighs> Story. He just talked about being on Kashyyyk back in my day. You know, like it was. Uh, no. Mission. I want to know where her brother is. You know, like that's what I want to know. <laughs> I love have Mission on Evan Hawk. Man, Mission and and the Z Wookie, <laughs> the first one, the first Z Wookie. Yeah, you love him so much. <laughs> <laughs> Zanzibar or something like that. I don't know. Zanzibar. That's a country. <laughs> That in the world. <laughs> gotcha. Well, we were supposed to be watching a Bond movie next month, but it's been delayed until November. Whoa, looks really? Like. That's November. pretty close. Good. Good? Good. Yeah. It gives us more time to hopefully get some fools watching some Bond and some oh. of our stuff. There's yeah. that, but commentary and reactions read, like, The reason such. for it. And they've, it. And they've since kind of basically confirmed it as well. Okay, well, what's a reason for why they would have done it? Uh, the decision was likely due to a global threat of coronavirus. I mean, it's not like you don't know what the coronavirus the is. Coronavirus? <laughs> coronavirus. Oh, it was just the markets down. Like, you know, the biggest market, like one of the second biggest market, oh. China. So what they're doing sure. is they're pushing they're it biggest, back yeah. because they don't think they'd get as much money going to the theaters during the coronavirus. Yeah, like so the they act- put it on the shelf. And yeah, show. like the actors, they don't want to go campaigning huh. in different countries for it, really. Like, um, like the Actors Guild wrote an open letter, I think, saying, hey, you know, we don't want to be traveling, doing all this promo. Um, so, yeah, they just said, like, we're going to, they shoved it for, like, what? Is it November? November. It's a long time. Yeah, like eight months. Yeah, that's a really long time. Yeah, like the movie's done. It's gold. It just they're not. Yeah, so they said yeah. it's, it's like playing the market. Like a, so the summer. market's so bad right now. It's like These actors. Like Wrestlers are still going right? strong, baby. When was, still was traveling it? the country? <laughs> when was it coming out? Huh? April. April. Next month. Yeah. Yeah, and I was now excited. As shit, like yeah. Hmm. Well, yeah, that's crazy, isn't it? Do you feel like there's? That's not the real reason. Maybe this seems like a long time to push it back. And maybe they're like, well, we got to fix something. Just might as well put it here. Or maybe it's just like that's maybe. the next, well, next, next time. Maybe, but maybe, the idea but like, that you oh. could have is that you're looking at, okay, well, here's here's when our movie's releasing. I don't think it's going to do well because of this virus. 
let's push it back. And then you're looking at, okay, well, here's when this is coming out. Yeah. Here's when this is coming out. Mm. Well, November is the best one that has nothing coming out during this time or something like that. We put it out then, you know? Yeah. Like maybe they're like Oscar season. Maybe stuff. They, they decide to push it back, but then they're like, when's the best time to re release it then if it's, if there's this stuff going on? Yeah. Yeah. But I don't know. I'm just hoping, I don't know. Hoping they, hopefully the U.S. does some stuff and, Trump doesn't just walk away from people who are trying to have discussions with him. Yeah, hopefully. <laughs> Did you guys see that, that video? Be, yep. Uh uh-uh. uh. He came out and he like made Mike Pence like the the lead of the Oh yeah, he put him stuff. in charge. And then the other guy who's been in charge is they were at like wait, so is he in charge or is he in charge? Because like this guy's a scientist and this guy's Mike Pence, you know? He doesn't believe <laughs> yeah. in evolution. And like <laughs> Donald Trump was there and stuff, and the one guy was talking and Donald was just like and walked away. Uh-huh. <laughs> he just didn't. Even, he just left. Yeah. He's like, ah, fuck it. Like Vince McMahon. <laughs> I was like, what? What's going on? So yeah, I don't know. If, I don't know if Mike Pence would be the guy to put in charge of that, but hmm. we'll you don't see. know. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> I, I understand. I mean, I don't know who's fucking... a, who's the best person. I just don't know that Mike Pence is the one you put. We need the main character, Doctor Styles from Trauma Center. He could. Oh, he dude. could do it. He, yeah, oh yeah, he could, man. <laughs> he, yeah, he's a Phoenix Wright of, of, of the world. Yeah. Of medicine. Yeah, medicine, yeah. You, you, you need a guy like the dude from well, Chernobyl maybe. to come in here and secretly do the things you need to do and then... And then get radiation therapy and yeah, poison? Yeah. <laughs> Be heroes. Yeah. yeah. But, I mean, coming up, we have, like, E3's coming. Yeah. There's E3. Wave, WaveCon coming. Yeah. There's Star Wars, Star Wars Celebration, Wars Celebration coming. Celebration. Yeah. Like, I'm, I don't know. And, and the Olympics. Two of those are in California, and California's getting... I know. Getting yeah. hit with State stuff, State of you know? emergency, mm-hmm. right? I don't know. Yeah. We'll see what happens. I mean, Ohio's usually pretty good, but... Yeah. yeah, yeah. Well, it seems like we have to wait. It seems like <laughs> I don't know. You know. I have no idea. There's uh, there were seven people in Ohio that they suspected, but they've yeah. been tested. It, it what's, clear what, what's cool is that at, at the state level, like like at the state level, they're doing a lot of cool things, like getting ahead of it. It's kind of like historically, like oh, like at the state level, they're doing all this stuff, yeah. like shutting down schools, yeah. like bef- like, and, and it's not like. I mean, before it becomes like a big thing. Yeah, you know I mean, mm-hmm. well, supposedly Texas, like Austin, they they have like a workable um, cure for the virus, and it's still in uh, like trials. animal testing yeah. trials and stuff. Yeah, I, yeah, I, I read a while ago and that they did. They actually did that, but I think which is pretty cool. But like, it's still going to be months and months and months till we get it. Yeah, I, th- I think also like either Spain or the UK also has a has a finished version. Yeah. But hmm. it's it's still in trials. Like, yeah. a, this works. Yeah, it, it's proven to have worked, but it's still in trials. Yeah. I mean, the best thing is just trying to reduce the spread of it the best everyone can. You know. Yeah. yeah. That's why it, it was funny because I, sh- I was showing Eric, I think it was the the coronavirus wash your hands Vietnamese song. Yeah, you. I it's so my, good. Like every something like a couple times this week, I just heard it. I'm like, oh, I follow the sound. I find Aaron. It's so good. But no, I, I put a tweet and I was like, if you happy to know it, wash your hands. <laughs> and then someone uh, linked that video on it too. Yeah. And I was like, this is a fun video. Yeah. <laughs> it's just so like, huh? catchy. Have you not seen it? I haven't heard it. V- Vietnam uh, released a, uh, it was like supposed to be for awareness, but they released like this, I don't know, what do you, what do you call it? V-pop. I don't know what you call it, but it's a, it's a Vietnamese like song and it's talking about like washing your hands and staying away from crowds and don't spread this shit you know like it, it's it's pretty good staying away from crowds that's that's yeah. what i do yeah that's part of the the stuff they say to do to not spread well, well when aaron the told this there. story i thought he was saying like some song it is a song from viet from like the vietnam war no yeah, he was like yeah it's a song from vietnam and you were going like like, like from the war <laughs> like, no. Like, no like did you find it rick Can and i'm like I have show it. it yeah show because i don't I'm think calvin or shane him. have seen it what? Uh, you're not gonna watch this? No, watch this song. Absolutely not. Watch this song. All it's right. so good. They're not gonna copyright strike us. I don't know. Just this? play a segment of it. It's for awareness. Yeah, we're spreading awareness for it's... them. If it's copyright, they want people to watch this, right? It's Guys, true. this is what you do. I, does this one have the English subs too? Uh, yeah, yeah, it does. Yeah. So like, they did this whole little art style and everything with it. It's so good. Hot virus. I don't know. I don't know. The, I don't know all the lyrics <laughs> in of it. But jump to uh, jump to like thirty seconds into it, or maybe. Okay. Yeah. Wait right here. Let's stay determined. Ah. Yeah. Ah. Catch fire. Yeah. Do this part. Ah. Move it, baby. Woo. 
he's like <laughs> this is actually pretty catchy he's like yeah, it hips. is it's like a, like it's, it. it's like a K-pop kind of song no it, you know? it's actually pretty good yeah like I like the, this is the chorus part they do this part twice but then they but it's all about awareness that's the whole point of it you know yeah. I get you the I beat of it Aaron's like this, this is the crescendo I, the beat was pretty good I liked it I mean I, I, ears I don't shaking. react to, to, to the subs but no, it's not. <laughs> I, don't even, I, don't remember, I don't even know what they're saying. I'm listening to the music. I like the music. <laughs> no, it, no it, that's good. Uh, and honestly, that, that's a cool thing, creating a catchy song for kids. Yeah. Like, you know. Sure, yeah. So, like, I'm always ta- telling my kids, you got to wash your hands. You know, I got, you know, 20 seconds. And my, my son just does it without soap. I'm like, no! I sit there and make him, I make him do it. You know I, what I mean? I hate when I'm in the bathroom, like, and I see somebody, like, come from the stall or whatever, and they go over, and they just turn on the water. Wet rinse their, their hands, hands, turn it off, and then walk out. They don't even dry them or anything either. I'm like, what the yeah. fuck? Why'd you even do that? It shouldn't take an epidemic to get people to wash their hands. It, it should. I, I wash my hands, like, forever. And then, like, I take the paper towel, I open the door with that paper towel. Yeah. And then, if there's not a trash can nearby, I throw it on the floor. <laughs> 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 yeah. Which, that's, I think the CDC says to do that. If you, if you have to, just throw it on the floor, put it in your pocket. Sure. You just throw the paper down on the floor? Yeah. If you can't get in the trash? Yeah, like, like if you had to, like if it does have a thing you can step on, you got to lift it up with your hands. Yeah. Just open oh. the door with your feet or the trash can. You could. I mean, yeah. Basically, don't use your hands. Yeah. You know, they put in your pocket or throw it on the floor, whatever. So when is Star Wars again? Star Wars Celebrations? August. Yeah. August. August, yeah. Right. So we've got some time on that one. Yeah, yeah. WaveCon's first. Yeah, yeah E3, WaveCon's E3's first. first. E3's first. Yeah. E3 is first. Yeah. That's true. I, I hope that the Olympics don't get canceled. I know yeah, yeah, because yeah. of sumo, more than anything. Being well, I think it's just a great time for sports and for just everyone, like for every country, <coughs> coming together to celebrate, <coughs> you know, sports and athleticism and c- competition. It definitely is. But uh, like the one of the top two sumo guys, Hakuho, he like swore to his dad that he was going to compete at the Olympics in sumo, and his dad has since passed away, <gasps> and he's just about to retire. So I really want it to happen this year for him. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, if they just cancel it instead of postponing it, it's, it's yeah, he'll, he'll miss his chance. Yeah. Yeah. Gus's dad, uh, he was on the national rowing team for the U.S. and the years in between the Olympics. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah. In between the Olympics? Yeah. Oh, man. That's he talks all the time. If one for the, the damn weight, <laughs> boys, one for the damn weight. He's just angrily eating Broughton's chip dip. God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much, yeah, dude. <laughs> so speaking of E3, last year at E3, a lot of people have been asking us about like the Final Fantasy VII demo. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, yeah. We have actually played that before yes. at E3, so you can see that on the YouTube channel, our thoughts. Yes, mm-hmm. yes. Uh, loved it quite a bit, and it, I know, yeah, obviously you're saying that because it's since been available for everybody. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I tried to download it again, have my son play it, uh, and it, it's awesome. So cool! Can I, I think they're doing it right. Have you noticed much of a difference between when you played it and watching him play it? Uh, no, except I. After the like, boss battle, uh, there's like a few extra minutes where you're like, escaping. I don't remember that in the demo we played. Yeah, I don't remember either. I, I've seen a few like graphical enhancements as well. Like yeah. I didn't notice some oh, quite so much funkiness with Cloud's hair. Okay. In, yeah. In this new version, <laughs> funkiness. It was some funkiness. Yeah. Oh, I thought it's it's funky hair. Funkiness. <laughs> I, was like, I, I knew he said funky, but I'm like I it heard. Really funky. sounded like he said funkiness. Yeah. Funky. Well, what was that word a few years ago? We like were arguing. Kong. Like, like you say this phrase, and we hear it different ways. Um. Uh. It was like a name. C or a C. So like llama, llama, llama. I don't. Uh, what was it? Pants pajama. I don't know. Someone there, chashed in there. Was a guy, it, it was like a phenomenon. Yeah, there was like Laurel, 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 Laurel and Laurel. Yanni. Yeah, that's what it was. Yeah, there was the dress, oh. and then there was that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, that's so, why I said llama. It started with an L. I couldn't think of what it was. <laughs> llama. So, so, that, that's the closest I got. So llama, what? What llama. is it again? Laurel like, and Yanni. Pants pajama. And it's yeah. something. Yeah. Okay. Laurel and Yanni. Yeah, and you'll listen to the auto file, and you'll hear one or the other. So yeah, like, I don't get ever those. since that I went down. Laurel. Ever since that went down, I'm thinking every time I hear something, I'm like, you know what? Maybe they did say that, mm-hmm. and maybe I misheard it or I heard it wrong. It's like some kind of audio well, trickery. Like when people say, "Like I know what I heard," I'm like, "Bitch, you don't know nothing." <laughs> <laughs> so hard, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> well, yeah. I mean, it's the same with our eyes. Like, yeah, our, our brain can play some different tricks rods, on us. different yeah. cones oh. in our eyes. Like, do you see, uh, you know, Eric's blue shirt the same way I see it? Yeah, I mean, but we we both know it's blue and recognize it, but oh, is it perceived the same way? It's black. I love those conversations. It's black shirt. So you're just wrong. Yeah. Huh? I mean, you know it's blue. I mean, you're just lying. 
Yeah. I get what you mean, but effectively it's the same thing. Like yet you're saying like that Pacific like that color on the color wheel, does he perceive that as that? But because he called it the same thing, it's Yeah, we both would call it the same way. But like what yeah. if we see colors completely differently? Yeah. Um that, we, that is the question. Yeah. I said that. <laughs> <laughs> I but mean, you can get that shirt in black, right? Yeah, you can. Yeah. Oh you can. Awesome. Where, Eric? Oh my god, you can go to blindwave.net and check out the store. I tricked ya! Holy shit, did you guys know that could happen? <laughs> actually, one of the favorite part of, parts of my week was actually, uh, if you go on Twitter, a lot of people who have finally gotten the Blind Wave Trooper merch have like been showing their shirts, they've gone to C2E2 with it and stuff, uh, the mugs and stuff like that, so I, I've just been loving seeing like people do that. But we also do have this mug as well, which is uh, the Blind Wave Z mug. It's also a shirt that's on our store. Like right now, because that's the thing, we're, we're trying to like, you know, try to get some merch out there because people have for a long time have said like oh, I'd like to get some merch but there's not a whole lot of options so we're trying to have fun and make options and see what people like but this uh, this Blind Wave one was featured on our Discord for a long time as our banner and we've made it into some merch so there's a store uh, right now you, you can, can get the shirt and mug for 20% off both items as offer in Sunday March 15th on Sunday so the if, of you, March. if you buy that if you have that in your cart uh, a mug and a shirt then they're both 20% off so very exciting i actually love this one on the shirt it's awesome too because the uh th- i don't have my shirt with me right yeah, now but it's it's got the logo yeah this here is on the front of the shirt but the the actual logo is on the side it's so cool Eric, you just like that because you're the biggest head on there well he has the biggest head in general yeah well it's that's true but it's because this is spoofing the tournament of power uh screen from dragon ball super yeah and you gotta have someone there so hmm. evie asked me like why is eric so big it's like it's just true to life, baby. Yep. She's like, oh, okay. <laughs> she accepted it. She's accepted it. She did. Yeah. <laughs> That's funny. Uh, who is Android eighteen? Asked the chat. Yeah, I don't know what order people are on there or anything. So, or is it spoilers? Uh, it's not spoilers. It's us and our significant others. I bet you can't tell who Melanie is. I, I don't know. The redhead. <laughs> well, oh no! I mean, <laughs> which like well, character from the show? Sure. Like, uh, so, like, I'm assuming the big one's Goku. The big one is Goku. Um, Shane is a. It looks kind of like a, like maybe based off of uh, Adult Gohan. Um, I would say Maggie um, is maybe uh, like a Chi Chi or Videl look. Um, Melanie, I think, is like one of the. I don't know. It looks like like either like an OC look character or possibly from like a video game or something. Like not from the main series. I don't think Rick doesn't look like anybody. <laughs> he has Master Roshi's thing, I guess. I don't know. Um, Calvin looks like Gohan. Everybody kind of looks like Gohan. It's Dragon Ball Z style, right? Yeah. They look like everybody looks you like Gohan. Kira Toriyama. Yeah. yeah. Look like Chrono, right? Yeah. They look like that or or um, a Dragon Quest characters. <laughs> but yeah, 18 would be Joy, and then we have uh, Carmen and Jancy on there as well. So it was fun. Top Screen put it together. He had a lot of good time, like a good time designing it and stuff. So yeah, it was good. I need to ask Rob, because Rob made the logo, if the lettering under the Blind Wave Z actually says anything, because he's really good about that. Like, I wonder if that says Blind Wave, too. You like know? Rob Roos. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hmm. Rick is Android 13 plus a beard. Oh, okay. I see that. Because Android 13 is colored differently, right? Like, isn't he the chucker hat guy? Um, I don't know. Hmm. I don't recall. I don't I remember that. It. Yeah. Who am I? Gotcha. Am I just Gohan looking? And then Android 21 is in Fighter Z. Okay, that's Android 21. That makes sense that Melanie's is like that. Cool. Awesome. Okay. Um, I, I want to actually talk about a story. Have you guys seen the Batmobile released? No. That was the other thing I said no. we should do. Yeah, I want to I want <laughs> I want to talk about that because uh, Rick, you can you can look it up. We saw images of uh, the new Batman. What Batman is going to look like? Um, but they. Uh, Matt Reeves, I think, released mm-hmm. uh, like three or four images of the Batmobile, and I wanted to see what your guys' reaction to it was because it's really interesting. Yeah. So there's a video, or am I looking for images? Images. Uh, it'd be on like Twitter, I think. Yeah, I haven't even seen the bat suit. You haven't seen the bat suit? No. Well, he, he's in the the, sh- the those as well, so right. we're going to get Aaron's first reaction I was reaction like, I think I just suit. see the trailer and be like, shit, nope. look at this shit I here. Oh, my God. Happen, man. We're, this is why you can watch a podcast, so you can get Aaron's first reaction. I don't think I can make this any bigger than this. Okay, yeah. Um, 
Can you maybe zoom in? You can zoom with in. That? Yeah, you can zoom in. Bit. So it's very car like, <laughs> you know? Yeah, it looks like a pony car. Yeah, like that V8 engine in it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. V8 mid engine. Almost looks like the Vindicator uh, Mad Max's car. Yeah. Kind of. Yeah. The thing I actually really enjoy about it, because this is going to be like a younger Batman, like year one kind of Batman, is I think that it's like a base in which he builds Modifies a slope. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. It so, looks so like the it's front a... end's going to get a lot longer. Well, I mean, there's gonna there's a couple other. I images mean, we can't too. see the front yeah, end here, eventually. right? <laughs> if you find the other images, you, you get a better shot of the front end of it as well. Yeah. It doesn't look very armored or anything either. No, and, it, and it, I don't think it, it it doesn't. But I think the the answer is not yet. Here's the back. Yeah, so this is the back. With the okay. engine. Yeah, so it looks like yeah. it starts off like a, a rolling like honestly tube I, I, chassis. I kind of think more of like the Adam West Batmobile when I see it. Here's you know? Batman. Yep. As well, and yeah, here's looks, the front. Looks gray. Yeah. And that Ooh. definitely looks like the Vindicator. Yeah. Hmm. Oh yeah, that looks like a. Oh shoot! What were those? Yeah, I'd have to see it move. Yeah, I mean, it's hard yeah. to imagine just like stopping a stop sign. Like, Once I, I, th- I look at like I, I imagine it's stopping a stop sign. I don't know yeah. why. I want to see it in action, like Me in too. a trailer. Yeah, it yeah. looks. I mean, you know, <laughs> like I think it'd be, it'd, sure. be, it'd be great to see like what it's what it's doing or like I don't know, maybe him in it. Right yeah. now, it just looks like he's standing next to a car. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's hard to say, but I, th- I think I like this better than the Dark Knight Batmobile. The personally. Tumbler. That tank? Yeah. It was, yeah, it was just a tank. Yeah, uh, yeah. I mean, I, I like that, but yeah, in terms of like just cool design and shit, you know what I mean? I like, personally love Batflex Batmobile. Yeah, like I hated the scene in which it was in, but I love the design. I haven't I, seen I that. Movie. I can't remember. Yeah, it. remember the very I, first I'll picture they oh, released? Yeah. Of, oh, yeah. Yeah, it was, was awesome amazing. looking. Yeah. I can't picture what it looked like. I remember he like jumped out of it at one point. Like, mm-hmm. it was like, yeah. I mean, like he did that, but I'm like, I can't picture what it looked like. Yeah. I'll That's when he up. ejected, right? Yeah, didn't like, he? It was, yeah, they were fighting. I didn't yeah, see right? the Suicide Squad. I, I know or whatever. He's an ad, or that's mm-hmm. an ad, right? Mm-hmm. I haven't seen that. Uh, like, yeah, what? it's in a car chase. What scene. year movie was that? Uh, the Batman, Batman one? V 2015, right? right? Batman I mean, V Superman. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. But yeah, I mean, that was one of the first things released that Zack Snyder released for that too. Was yeah. just the image of him standing next to the Batmobile, yeah. and you're like, yeah. Jesus, that looks. Yeah, he looks such a good image. Yeah. But the Tumblr was never like my favorite of the Batmobiles. No, yeah, it's 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 not. But like, it make like I love those movies, and it makes sense for those movies. I'm yeah, just saying, if I'm is. if I, if they're all lined up, I'm not picking the Tumblr. You know yeah. what I'm saying? That looks that looks pretty cool. Yeah. I mean, I'm picking Burton Batmobile. Yeah. If you're lining them up. Yeah, but this is kind of yeah. like this is like a mixture between like the Tumblr and the Burton Batmobile. Yeah. You know? Like, that's kind of yeah. what that looks like yeah, to me. Th- that's so cool right there. Yeah. It's like armored like the Tumblr, but lengthened and stuff, kind of like mm-hmm. the, the Burton one. Yeah. Which Burton was great. Well, yeah. I didn't know that. I wonder, the Batman from the Joker universe, from Joker, Joaquin Phoenix, I wonder what his Batmobile would look like. Well, it's probably got, like, pedals on it right now. <laughs> <laughs> probably. Looks like a javelin. Like a, a missile? No, like like, a, a, like an AMC Javelin. That's the car I was trying to think of. No, like no. that, like that yellow one there. Like this one? Or the bottom left? Oh, this. The one. bottom left. Yeah. Sure. I, I can I can see it. Like I said, I, I if to me it feels like it's a foundation that it can be built upon and you see no, it yeah. grow. You know. It's yeah, like this it, is this is my first. This is my Mark One. It's like Spider Man's first suit yeah. or Iron Man's yeah. first yeah. suit. Got like it. he makes this himself and it's made out of a car chassis yeah. and. Then later on, he just builds yeah. onto it, extends the front nose, and makes it look like Burton's. Mm-hmm. Adds weaponry. That'd yeah. be cool. Shoots out things at the back. Or maybe like a grappling hook that pulls it up a mountain or a, <laughs> uh, up, a, up a building. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Did, didn't Burton's do that? Didn't it like go up at one point, like with jets or something? That was Schumacher. Yeah, that was Schumacher. Was it Schumacher? Which is not as good of a Batmobile. Mm-mm. Well, oh. Is it like the same design? It's not as good oh, oh. as a bat anything. <laughs> hey, I felt like it was the same design. I don't know. Uh, I don't you know what else was so great about my week? And by the way, I did want to thank uh, Kristen for buying a Blind Wave Z mug as we were doing podcasts. That's awesome. Oh, nice. But awesome. another great part of my week was that Tombstone has finally won a poll. We're going to be reacting yeah. to it. I'm so excited. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Sadly, I'm going to be. Uh, nope, part nope, of no, 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 no. The joke's gone. Nope. <laughs> you leave you fired so, yeah, right. so I'm really really excited about that and the, the only reason I brought it up is because um, uh, I, I've been trying to do some a little bit of research so I'm well informed for Tombstone and, and like a really cool fact that you know I, I like now that we're bringing up Schumacher is that 
um, uh, uh, Val Kilmer, mm-hmm. who obviously is Batman in, in uh, the first Schumacher movie. Um, he plays Doc Holliday in Tombstone. And then the other famous actor that played Doc Holliday before him, and, you know, because Doc Holliday is a pretty famous figure in Westerns, was Adam West. Mm-hmm. And the reason that is, because obviously they both played Batman, Schumacher saw Tombstone. He's like, man, that guy's good. He'd be a good Batman. Because <laughs> he saw Adam West, you know, in those two yeah. characters, and he's like, that fucking works. Get him. And they got him. And that's, that's why we hilarious. had that, Tombstone is why we had Val Kilmer as Batman. Wow. Yeah. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah. <laughs> So Schumacher wasn't related to Tombstone, though. No, he no. just went and saw. He just it. watched it. Nope, he did. Okay. He watched it. He's like, that guy is so good. I want him to be. Batman. He's like, man, Adam West used to be this guy. That guy. He just shouted in the theater. That's my Batman. Everyone's so confused. <laughs> yeah, dude. He just gets that. up and fucking. <laughs> <flies away. laughs> I think Willow does it by itself. <laughs> yeah. When you see Willow, you all great. Yeah. 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 I love. I do love. Mad. Willow. You see I mean, Mad Mardigan. You see Mad Mardigan. Like that, I get that guy can play anything. I get you, and <laughs> I, I, I know that I'm guilty of hyping it up, but I'm really <laughs> curious to have that conversation again after you've seen Tombstone. <laughs> About Willow. About Val Kilmer. Yeah. Yeah. And his best performances. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. So, yeah. 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 Never seen Willow. Yeah. But we got. Damn it. Yeah, we, we, yeah, we got to do that. And George and, Lucas. And uh, yeah, uh, Lucas, John Kasdan, Lawrence Kasdan's son, they, they've been actively writing <coughs> yeah. Willow TV series scripts. Mm-hmm. And Ron Howard's like, yeah, let's do it. And I, and yeah, everyone seems to be on board as long as the scripts are there. So I pray to God it happens. I haven't seen Willow <laughs> since I was a kid, but I'll, I'll always remember. Like, really? Like, oh. isn't, isn't there like a, I thought we watched it like when I lived. We started watching We never finished it. Okay. I'm, I'm thinking about, like, isn't there like a two-headed dragon or something in there? That's oh, yeah. though. Because I had, I had that toy. <laughs> Before I'd seen Willow, so oh, if, yeah. if you react to it now, like, you'd be pretty it was fresh. Of, it was, yeah, but it was one of my brother's toys that I just inherited, mm-hmm. and I had no idea what that was. And I remember watching Willow for the first time and being like, <gasps> and running again, like ah! That's it's great. Like my, it's like my friend was in. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, your, dad, your dad comes out, kicks you in the ass. <laughs> Stop using my tomato sticks as swords. Come pick up your men. <laughs> pick up your men. <laughs> your men are. <laughs> you say that all the time. Come pick up yeah, your men. L- love that. But yeah, I. I I'm sure Tomb Raider might change my mind, yeah. Yeah, I hope it Tomb would, but it won't. Tomb Stone. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be a hell of a thing if it did. <laughs> Man, I watched Tomb Raider. That's Val Kilmer's best performance as Willow. Yeah. What was that movie? Val- I think Val Kilmer was in it, and it was like, uh, and then there were none, the Agatha Christie type movie. Mm, I don't know. I haven't seen it. Uh, nope. Man. Okay. But they're performing that down the street. Oh, that's the play and, they're and doing like right now, is, and then there were none. The sign like just had a bunch of people just crossed off on it. Really? <laughs> I was like, yeah, they right. had to change the name of that. It used to be Twelve Little Indians. <laughs> and then before that, it was something else. Yeah, before that, it was something else. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. We, we had uh, Twelve Little Indians at uh, at uh, St. Mary's. Like the books, all a bunch of old books still there. Yeah. yeah. So, have you seen Howard the Duck? No. Have you seen American Graffiti? No. Have you seen any George Lucas movie other than Star Wars? Indiana Jones count? He, no. He wrote it. I mean, yeah, he he wrote kinda. it. He, it, de- been, it definitely counts. I've been that's, wanting to watch. Um, what's it called? Red Tails. Yeah, I've been wanting to watch that. I, I haven't seen yeah, that. Yeah, that, that's the, that's that's good. What else has he done? American Graffiti. Well, you, uh, yeah, Howard the you, Duck. You, you name. Damn it, Rick. <laughs> Star Wars. <laughs> I've seen all those. Uh, he did. Uh, 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 what was that? Monkey something. Didn't he do that? The well, game? he did. A, he did an animated movie. Monkey Island that Lucas Arts did. No. Tw- like twelve monkeys? That was no. from George Lucas. That wasn't no, him. he didn't do that. Uh, Bruce Willis, crazy, you crazy yeah. asshole! No, I don't okay. think that was him. There's a he did an animated movie, Rick, too. Uh, after the acquisition of Disney, Fern Gully. Shit, no. <laughs> Slam beneath <laughs> me. Mm. Slam up above. Tim Curry's mmm in that is so <laughs> good. Like, oh. That gives me the tingles. Not, yeah, not ASMR. That, that I'm thinking of uh, THX 1138. Yeah, yeah. I don't know that, that was his student film. Whenever yeah. he was in film, I haven't seen that. Oh, it's a, it's a short film. Uh, yeah. Ewoks: The Battle of Endor. I don't know how involved he was in that. But. Uh, we don't talk about those right. Captain <laughs> EO. <laughs> Fuck, where is it? That's Michael Jackson. I've never even heard of this. But it's, it's called Strange Magic. Rick. The Ewok movies had blurgs in them. That's where they first appeared. It's true. Blurgs. What is this movie? Howard the Duck. No, Captain EO. I don't know. Uh, it's it's George Lucas Captain, was involved somehow. It's Captain EO. Yeah. Why don't you just go to IMDb for George Lucas, Rick? That you're on Google. Damn it, Rick! I want to know more about this Captain EO now. <laughs> Here, let me see. IMDb. I've seen Moonwalker, but I've never even heard of this. Oh, a 3D 
a 3D science fiction film that was shown at Disney theme parks oh, from 1986 okay. to 1996. That makes sense. All right, so, <laughs> ah, okay. Are you talking about movies that George has directed, Rick? Yeah. Directed or written or produced? Like which? Because directed, there's 18 it shows. Star Wars, Star George Wars, Lucas was Star the executive Wars, producer Wars, on Captain EO. American Graffiti, haven't seen it. Bald. The Making of THX 11838. I have not seen that. THX 1138, Filmmaker, 6, 1867. Anyone Lived in the Pretty How Town, Electronic Labyrinth, THX 1138. The Emperor. No. No, I'll, I'll, no I think I've seen The it. Emperor's Coming Here? Red Tails. Did he direct it, Red Tails? It doesn't even say that. No, it doesn't. I think those were must have been producers, maybe? Producer credits, yeah. I want to be Well, because I know he, he, like, he wrote it. And he was, was an executive producer on Red Tails. Maybe yeah. he wrote it, too. Well, I know he did that. It was like his movie, but he wanted like a black director. Like, like he wrote... Because it was, the, it's you know predominantly African Americans during the war, and he said, "I think a black director needs to do it," which I think is pretty admirable for mm-hmm. him to do that. Yeah, he really only directed his earlier stuff. It looks like, but he wrote like a hundred and fifty some things. Yeah, I mean, he didn't want to direct a prequel trilogy. He didn't want to. Yeah, I mean, he did a story for Willow. So if Willow counts, then Indiana Jones should count because he did story stuff, characters and stories for Indiana Jones. Yeah. Um, he did a lot of Indiana Jones video game stuff that he did characters and stuff on yeah. a bunch of games. Mm. All right, we're done here, Rare. All right. You, well, haven't, seen, you haven't seen shit. All right. Dude, shout out to Cody, who just got a Blind Wave shirt and mug bundle. Nice. Save 20% on the store. Awesome. Cool, cool. <laughs> Thank you, Cody. Enjoy the merch. Eric. Yeah. Look at this gimbal I made for my cup. <laughs> that needs to be just a video. <laughs> <laughs> That's five hours long. <laughs> Just loops. Look yeah. at this gimbal I made. Look at this gimbal I made. All right. Uh, should I get some to some questions in chat? Yeah, let's do some questions. Yeah. All right. Some people have been Take redeeming on. them as we've been going along. Mm, uh, there's a little made. icon in the lower left that allows you to do so. Slime. Mm. Mm. <laughs> uh, Cody wants to know: Are you guys able to add more shirt sizes to the store, specifically tall and long sizes? Yeah, we plan on trying to get that kind of stuff done. Right now, we're just making <coughs> trying to get like a, a good base going, but we're we're constantly wanting to update it and uh, work with everybody. So yeah, we're we're working on it. I feel you, man. I feel you. Yeah. Why, Eric? Me too. Because I also am size blessed. Okay. <laughs> size. <laughs> Blessed. Blessed. Mm. That's a size. <laughs> Any questions that are, will you react to this? Is always a maybe. Damn it. Always a maybe. So I'll be skipping those. Yeah, None pretty much. Well, no, yeah. there's sometimes there's enough. Like, like will we like react? Like terrorist propaganda or something, right? Come on. Give it up. Okay. Are you going to be like, will you react to Avatar? Like, no, we already <laughs> did. <laughs> Crimson. Uh, speaking of tattoos, Rick, did you see the video of AJ Styles getting his daughter's birthday on his side? The guy finished it. Said the wrong date jokingly with him. I have seen that mm. to where he tried to fool him, and he uh, he also like had an extra kid he wasn't expecting, and he kind of ran out of room. Yeah, does he put all the kids' <laughs> birthdays yeah. on his side? Yeah, Jesus, <laughs> <laughs> just put it on his other side, I guess. Right? I can't afford to do that. They fit it in there, yeah. but it's too many birthdays. A lot of sessions. Yeah, I'm not getting and that. a needle. Yeah, fuck them. Kids get nothing. <laughs> you know you can do. Um, They'll get Fortnite. And that's it. <laughs> <laughs> you can like send away like a design and they'll print it on like a, a semi-permanent tattoo thing and you just leave it on your on your skin for like a day and you peel it off and like you have a like a semi-permanent tattoo they kind of they have those like it's like a little printer now too that you can buy and you can literally just put it against your skin and as long as you do it at the right rate yeah it'll just do a, like a semi-permanent tattoo on there it's crazy mm-hmm. but it's just sticky I just there. see people do that what do they call it Henna. Yeah, that shit. Mm. Whatever that is. Yeah. It's like a dying of the skin with like tea leaves and stuff, right? On, yeah, uh, stuff like yeah. that, yeah. On Fridays, because football games were always on Fridays for me, me in high school. I would like like a study hall or something. I'd have like a marker and I'd like draw elaborate tattoos like down my Like hand. a sleeve. Like a sleeve. Like really elaborate, like in my opinion, really cool looking badass ones. And then I get down the line like that night. I put my hand down, and the kid who's like a seventeen-year-old kid from another school would look up, and I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> "Jesus, this guy's got tattoos!" He's trying to get his fucking head. Yeah. He's like, "Oh my god, this guy's a badass. He's gonna kill me." At the very least, he has parents who are open-minded. <laughs> <laughs> Coach. Yeah. 
but then uh, I saw through my ruse as, after I sweated and all came off. <laughs> it all ran off. Please don't hurt me, mister. Like the fourth quarter, what the hell? Yeah. <laughs> it's like you've been played. It's gone. <laughs> we lost. 12 Cat, uh, when is the winner of the WaveCon logo being announced or has it been announced already? I missed it. That The voting is going to be taking place very soon. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, that will be, I don't know how it will be announced, but it will be on the website and there will yeah. be a thing linking to it that'll take you to the WaveCon website and you can vote for it there as well as sign up for WaveCon, get your Valley Gym tickets, yep. all that fun stuff. We might <laughs> do a separate video once all that stuff's live. Yeah, we will. Announcing all that stuff. Yes. Um, Max Mann asks, hey guys, was wondering how you guys avoid burnout from creating content. You guys do so many things, so I'm curious. Mm. I mean, <clears throat> it's... You know what? It's not too difficult for me. I, I just try to, one, I mean, we just got good chemistry. I, I always have fun when I'm hanging out with you guys, you know? Yeah. And, like, I think we're kind of supportive of each other in that regard. But I also just, like, I don't know. I, I, I never had that much of a problem. I feel like I just, I, sometimes I have to psych myself up at the very beginning, especially, like, in the beginning of the day and I'm tired. Mm-hmm. But I just go, fuck it, fuck it. All right, hey, guys, crew, you know, and I just get in the zone. So the burnout doesn't really affect me too much. Yeah, I mean, in terms of burning out, yeah, I don't never really feel burnout. out. I mean, maybe if we were, like, creatively actually creating yeah. original content, I mean, at the same rate that we're pushing out reactions, that would be nuts. But uh, I don't know. I think I always just tell myself, hey, man, I'm really fortunate to do what I do. Yeah. And I'm, just, I'm watching TV, and most of it's stuff I really like, and playing video games, most of it's stuff I really love to play. It, What's a, it's a dream. I don't get burnt out by anything you guys see. But there are stuff behind the scenes that are business oh, things that need yeah. dealt with that yeah. can take their toll. There's a stress with any job that has that kind of thing. Like, I, I, in terms of being on in front of the camera. Oh, yeah. You know, like, uh, it helps that we're not doing, like, more than one thing a week of that specific thing. It's kind of fresh because you're like, I watch this show and I move on to this one. It feels different. It feels like that's a weekly journey. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. I feel like there's burnout sometimes. Um, I mean, even among all of us, when, like, we go through a day and all we've been doing is just filming and then it was like you know it's 4.30 or something like that and like alright we got everything we got to film today done okay cool it's like well there was this trailer we want to do it's like oh, man I don't know I don't feel like that's let's, true let's, definitely yeah. maybe put it on tomorrow you know it's like, but do it first thing tomorrow the thing I think helps is the days that we have varying things rather than it being like the same stuff like maybe different groupings mm-hmm. or we, we have a game night toss in the middle yeah. or like you end the day with a podcast it's a little different than like just filming the same like just doing reactions you know yeah. so I think that kind of helps separate and divide things up a little bit um, just but, to like break up the I don't know how to say it but monotony monotony I guess. just sitting and, and watching a, a screen yeah like the thing is when I sit too long like I go nuts like we actually have a meeting for a few hours before podcast and like uh, Mick my nose I got up sort of walking back and forth because like I was like I cannot sit and just I just can't do it like I got ADHD I just I go nuts yeah so like we're doing long video sessions of anything sometimes and when he like, says he goes nuts like well, Shane literally like, we're just randomly we're sitting he just, blah, 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 yeah. he just jumps yeah. on the ceiling and runs <laughs> out he's jumping around his nuts <laughs> fall out of his pants yep yeah, yeah. but he's like you know time. he's done like, it he's gone like a cool thing with this week is we Got to do Harry Potter yesterday. Uh, part yes, two, we Deathly did. Hollows. Love that finale. movie. Yeah. Uh, I teared up. Like I always tear up at the certain certain scenes. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it's great, great series. Great, great, even better book series. Yeah, but I was getting real anxious. Like yeah, yeah, honestly. Yeah, but I, I feel like some of those sometimes, like even doing commentary during it, where it's not like like it was free to talk. It's different enough from the reactions that it's not the same kind of thing. Like it yeah. feels different than doing reactions. Yeah, but I mean, like whereas like I'm doing reactions, like okay, I got to pay attention. Make sure I'm trying to get everything I can, but also like and suck in. Re- make sure I'm expressing <laughs> when things are happening, and also like be fun, be funny, be energetic. You know, yeah. like I got to keep all these things in mind while watching something. And sometimes, sometimes it's not. I'm like, I'm just, I'm gonna chill back here. <laughs> you know, like yeah, all right. I got a couch. Going on? I'm gonna take a back. back seat on this one for right. a little bit. And then like, oh, okay, well, now what's happening? You know, so mm-hmm. it gets tricky sometimes. There are a couple reactions right, right. You know, where I'm like, okay, well, I'm not the expert here. I never claim to be, so I'm not going to act like one. But some things I really, really want to talk, you know? Yeah. Steinsgate. Watch Steinsgate, basically. Uh, Meg and I do the Haikyuu reactions after work hours, usually. Uh, so usually at the start of those, I'm like, oh, man, you know, I got to go again. But mm-hmm. as, as soon as that starts, I start getting hyped. It all melts away. <laughs> I, mean, I, yeah. I get you. Like, sometimes, like, actually sitting down and starting 
is more difficult for me than yeah. actually doing the whole video. Yeah. You know? Yeah. I, my, my, for me, it's just my mind wanders like a lot. Yeah. Like I'm always like, I'll watch something and I'll zone out. Go be think about something. Yeah. And it just, I can't control it really unless I'm like medicated. Like chicken pot pie. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, what? especially if it's like something maybe like, um, that's not a cerebral. Yeah. I mean, and like it doesn't rec- you know what I mean? Or if it's super cerebral and if I'm off by like 1% that day, like one minute will go by, they got like, oh, shit, I just missed something. Yeah, I mean. Yeah, I think everyone has that experience in like class at some point where like they're in a math class. Like and- shit, he just explained how to do this. He's doing the formula and I just missed it. Yeah, and, and now he just had a daydream or something and like. Calvin, what the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I said now he's calling me up to the board. Oh. <laughs> well, what the fuck are you talking about? You've never been called up to the board? In school, yes, but with people, okay. I think he's asking if you had. Well, he didn't say that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the treat stream came. Thank you very much, Lenny and Cody. Yes, thank you so much, guys. But mm-hmm. we want to try to not eat during the podcast. Yeah, so we're gonna eat a lot of it after. I mean, you can I, eat I, whatever I, you like. It, it, I, I admit, we. I went to use the restroom. I just ate a taco. God damn it! <laughs> I gotta be. No, no, because like I haven't eaten literally all day, damn. and I was waiting till podcast, and I kind of yeah. forgot that. What like, because like I gave Rick a look. And I'm like, we're starting out today? <laughs> <laughs> like, and I was like, because like, I, I, can't, I can't log into my phone for Twitch. I'm thinking like, all right, at least I got food to eat. Yeah. Like, I literally thought that. Like, okay, I can't log in, you know? So I got, like, got food to eat. And then Rick was like, nah, we'll eat it later to like Jancy. Well, so and, I, and I was like, I gave Rick a look and he didn't, he just looked down. I'm like, today? <laughs> <laughs> I, I went down and I sensed the internal struggle inside. Well, you. I was like. I, I'm just I, it was one of those moments like I was sitting here like I gotta stand I'm going fucking nuts right now yeah. you, you were, t- were talking about wrestling and I was like you get fucked up fucking wrestling I'm fucking hungry <laughs> so I went downstairs to help the Baba carry it all up and I left it outside and I was like the Baba just leave it here it's like really it's like yeah and so I, I didn't want you guys to have to smell it or anything. Yeah. You left it outside in the hall? In the hall? In the cold alone? hall? That'd be in the cold stairwell? It's Eric, like in the refrigerator. It doesn't need company. <laughs> it needs to be warm, Rick. No, it's a microwave it afterwards. Oh it doesn't matter. Gosh, oh, you don't microwave gosh, tacos gosh, with lettuce in it, you crazy asshole. Well, then I'm so glad Jancy so then found it and was thinking she was going to bring it here until you said no and instead it over there <laughs> where it stays nice and warm. Yeah, I just had a taco. It was still good. So thank, yes. thank God. Thank God for both of you who sent that. We're going to just... Destroy it here after the camera's off. Yeah, this is why not I, even gonna eat it. This is why I always tell Bob when I listen to Rick. That's why I left it in the stairwell so th- that it got cold. No, I don't want it cold. You don't even need it. You're like, I don't need food. <laughs> don't enforce your values. <laughs> your values on to us. Right? Put it in the oven or something. Jesus, <clears throat> I'm disgusted. I feel like microwave pizza. Bad microwave pizza. Microwave pizza that is not like great pizza is better than fresh. Sometimes, depending on where you go. Yeah, I, I like Smitty's warmed up. is pretty good. Yeah. All right. Next. Yeah, it was great. That Ronaldo just bought a blind wave clone wear shirt over at our store. What, oh, what? my is it gosh. Thank chat you, or what? Ronaldo. What you no, doing? no. I just got... It, it pops on my phone. He's watching like nonstop. I did it once. But <laughs> I got to fucking do it again. <laughs> no. Thank you, Ronaldo. What a burden. I've been... My, I think right now my favorite pizza place is Donato's. Uh huh. Really? Like, I, I really like the crust. The ingredients are really good. good. There's lots of like options and stuff they have on it. It's I only have that in Columbus. I'm keeping was, it in yeah. Columbus, baby. It's pricey, but like no, I mean it's just down the street. You so like good. that better than the pizza place? Pizza place is good. Yeah, I think I do. And I like over the moon, but you know, I don't, like, I, don't, I don't like the guy who runs it. So. It's it's really good, and it wasn't like super greasy. You know, mm. like I love Smitty's. Smitty's yeah. is really good. But the you issue don't think that Donato's was super greasy? No, not the one we had. What, we, you just, get? we just got it. Uh, uh, what we get? Um, Melanie got a pepperoni mushroom pizza. Okay. And then also on the other half was like pepperoni and sausage. And then the one was like a pepper jack cheese with jalapenos and chicken mm. on it or something like that. Because I was like, I want something spicy. Try to clear up this shit. <laughs> So we're being healthy, now. But, but then you're eating all this cheese. <laughs> <laughs> well, you, no, I didn't. I don't want health. I just wanted the just the spice to clear my noses up a bit. That's right. Yeah. So, you got an Indian. But no, it just didn't seem. It's not as greasy as like Smitty's. Like Smitty's, you get that, and it's like the pepperonis are yeah. pulled with grease inside of them and stuff. Although that which is, is delicious. Good, oh, that's good. But it, have, it, have, sometimes, have you sometimes seen? it tears up my stomach. The only thing about it is, Donato's used to sell their pizza based off like the grease in the pepperoni like that they're um, known for that didn't it didn't do that this All time right. yeah, that's about know. that's about five bucks for the grease you know yeah. idea. <laughs> like, have you I, seen a long came poly before we move off of grease huh? yes with phil Stephen hoffman yes when he's, i've seen that yeah oh, i love that shit oh, oh, I thought you're talking about, like, we're talking about pizza shane pizza they had pizza and he tested yeah, john travolta and olivia newton john 
Greece. Now, now we're all off topic because you changed the things. Fiction? We're talking about pizza grease. <laughs> Have you seen Greece? John Travolta is also. I just brought it up. Fiction. Oh, Rick, pizza. that's a good one, dude. <laughs> Alicia asks, is Evie going to be a flower thrower? I've never heard it called that before. At first, I read flamethrower. That doesn't make any sense. You mean a flower girl? Uh, yeah. Oh. For I what? Say. I assume Calvin's wedding. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Um, oh shit, you're getting I'm married. pretty sure I called it. Huh? Huh? <laughs> you called flower girl? Yeah. Or you called her I mean, being flower girl? No, I called it. That's my position. I'm flower man. I mean, the positions aren't filled by volume. It's it's like quantity. You can have like several. I can fill both. Were you guys a part of any weddings when you were kids? Yeah. <clears throat> I don't know. I was a part of your wedding when I was a kid. A couple. <laughs> well. I was in my... I was in my parents' wedding. Yeah? Because you were born out of wedlock. No. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. My mom my stepdad. I know, I know. <laughs> I remember my Uncle Regis. I love any time you, you say that, but oh, this could be good. <laughs> During every wedding in the family that he was a part of, he would always be over in the corner trying to make the groom laugh. <laughs> yeah. He'd like be like making that faces. I do, man. Like he'd just be doing all these crazy things, just trying to make the groom just laugh. And Uncle Justin did it. You could see his wife, Bonnie, was just so angry. <laughs> <laughs> With Uncle Regis, is I, could definitely, I could definitely see that. Uncle well, Regis, is he the guy who chased you for jumping over the yeah. tree? <laughs> uh, the sun, uh, yeah, the peach trees. Yeah, and like the dog play liquor guy. Yeah. yeah. I love that guy. I want to meet this man. Uh, Didn't he duct tape you? He did. Like uh, duct taped you up? No, uh, he, he duct taped me to the floor. That's what it was. Right. To the floor? <laughs> yeah, to the floor. <laughs> my yeah. Uncle John, my cousin Chris, they handcuffed me to the antenna, like the antenna ladder. Like oh, the yeah. Mast, and they put like, they hosed me down for like an hour. What? Put sh- like shaving cream and shit all over me. You get hypothermia yeah. out. You know, I'm, I'm really thinking, I need to have a talk with Carmen because now I'm thinking of what Calvin's wedding vlog is going to be like and i got to run some things by her first. <laughs> by her, not me. <laughs> no, her. You know, she's got to be her first. <laughs> yeah, well. <laughs> she's she's got to be planning it, right? Because if Calvin plans it the way he eats, like, who knows when they get married? Or the way he sleeps vacuum his floors. <laughs> 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 oh, okay. I thought you were talking about scrubbing floors. You mean like, thoroughly? It's going to be a crazy wedding. <laughs> Do you eat thoroughly? <laughs> thoroughly. Clean. Right. It's Questions, clean as Rick. hell. Questions. Questions. Uh, let's see here. What are you guys playing tomorrow? Old Ooh, school boy. 2K. Stream. We don't know. To be determined. To be determined. Um, it's, I mean, it's, it's going to be one of two things, but I don't know if we're going to have the PC ready for that, so we might just go with Dreams. Dreams? Or mm. unless we find something better, like Smash. What? What do you mean? You're the one who wanted dreams. I suggested it. <laughs> I said we could do dreams. There's all these new levels. It's got all this hype. Yeah, all right. you said dreams, so we wouldn't play the other thing. It's no, dreams. I, it I may switch. It. it may switch, but as of right now, we have, have it for dreams. Uh, next Friday, Card though, subject to change. To make sure that Calvin gets it done, 100 percent for next Friday, is going to be Battlefront. It will be Star Wars Battlefront. Yeah, we're going to play Star Wars Battlefront. From but right now we don't the have The first a. one for PS2, Shane's, right? Shane's nope. PC needs fixed. No, Rick. What? No. The second one. Oh, of course. For PS2. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Star Wars Battlefront. Joe asks, what's your favorite Arkham game? <clears throat> I think Arkham Asylum is the best. I've the only first. played the first one. I've never played the other ones. Asylum is probably my favorite because it's the only one that I've played. <laughs> um, I've played them all. That's what I said, Calvin. And I just love the pacing of the first one. It, it's hard for me to say. Well, uh, you didn't say it was Dark Knight game. Rises has some of the best gameplay stuff, but like, I don't like all the Batmobile shit. Yeah, you I mean, mean Arkham Knight? Arkham Knight, I mean, yeah. Um, yeah, I might have to say, I might have to go with Rick. I don't know. They're all so good. They're all worth playing. Yeah, they're all 10 out of 10s, pretty much. Yeah. Yeah, I know Rick loved the uh, Batmobile in those games. If they would have had the Scarecrow in uh, Arkham Asylum, I would say Arkham Asylum. Mm. Did they not? So, so Ar- Arkham City. I was gonna say oh, yes. Yeah. I'm like, I was thought he was Asylum. in Arkham Asylum. I remember that guy. Arkham City. <laughs> yeah. They had Arkham he was City. huge. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I avoided him. Yeah. Uh, so Rick, if people have like a suggestion or something for a Dreams level that they want us to try out, is there a place they can put that? They Maybe we could, do a Twitter. They could tweet us. Yeah, they could tweet us. Yeah. At but Blind Wave Write Rob. us a letter. Yeah. Maybe I'll yes, put out a, mail. Maybe I'll put out a question. Hashtag like, Blind Wave Dreams. Is there any dreams levels you guys want us to, to play? Let us know. And then that way I can just reference that mm. tweet. 
So maybe I'll put out a tweet and you guys can just. And they suck. You're getting blocked. Okay. Yeah. So we'll do it that way. Or if you're in like our Twitch, uh, our, our Discord, you can put it on there. Gotcha. We need to make a Dragon Heart level, Rick. Especially the Twitch chat. There's only that one. <laughs> hmm. Kill streak. Have you guys heard of this environment game of Moss Eisley that a bunch of game designers made three years ago? They made it on Unreal Engine. It's freaking awesome and beautiful and free to download. Um, I mean, I uh, I actually often go and find like like the independent like game makers that are doing like Unreal Engine. Like, there's a guy that's just recreating Ocarina of Time and Unreal Engine, and he's like doing a really good job of it. Mm -hmm. Like, I, I check those out from time to time. I think I've seen the Tatooine one. Yeah, but Battlefront also just released a Tatooine map as well. All right, man, we are running up on time, so yep, I'm going to read redemptions and donations. All righty. Mm. We'll buy fast. <laughs> they never use the subreddit. I'm on the subreddit sometimes. I think Eric is too. I, I, I check it out. I don't. It, it doesn't use get it much. used too often. Usually yeah. I'm on there and I'm responding to people where I see people posting stuff. And yeah. I'm, I'm a Reddit lurker. I don't interact yeah. much. We have a subreddit? We do. We have, right. a, we have a Blind Wave subreddit for yeah. people that... If people use Reddit and you want to, use the Blind Wave subreddit. It's there. Yeah. Sometimes there's vast conspiracies on there. Is there a, <laughs> a, a Blind Wave wrestling subreddit? No. Um, oh, not a Blind Wave wrestling one. That There is the subreddit called Squared Circle that you can go to. Okay. And I got a P I got 100,000 fans on that. Also, yeah. Jake the Snake came back in AEW last night. Yeah? Yeah. I heard. He came back. He delivered the best promo of the year. Against Cody Rhodes. It's a hell of an also. Man. Yeah. Jesus. It was so good. Like, he kept calling him Caesar, and his last line was, a man once told me you never turn your back on a man you fear or a man you respect. He immediately turns his back on Cody Rhodes, drops the mic, and leaves. Oh, like, oh my God. He's still got it. <laughs> I love how happy you are. <laughs> I love how happy... It makes me seeing you happy. <laughs> on a man, you what was the first one? Fear, fear, or respect, or respect. Okay. Or respect. I, I what, heard was the respect it, one. Was it Gears of War? We were talking about wrestling for like fifteen minutes, Rick. Oh yeah, yeah. Rick will do that. Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. It's no, my it, life. It was a good conversation. Don't though. let him eat during it's strenuous, my... exciting parts because he'll start choking and dying. I will. But it, if you guys are wrestling fans and um, you, you want to go see a documentary, there's one called The Resurrection of Jake the Snake, which is a real tearjerker. Like he struggled with alcoholism and. Uh, drugs, yeah. things like that, about him like coming out of it, and to see him now back in a wrestling company after going through all that is touching. That's, that's cool. It's cool. All right, let's go. Tintin, who f has resubscribed for eight months? Thank you, Tintin. Thank you, Tintin. Tintin. Thank you, Night Owl Lenny for nineteen months. Lenny. Thank you, Lenny. Thank you, Leonardo. Thank you. Leonardo Shardow. Rex for three months. Thank you, Rex. Rex. Hey, Rex. Captain Fishlip for eleven. Lip. Thank lip. you, Lip. Thank you, Lippo. Fomarak for 17. Mm, thank, thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Cody gifted five subs. Cody. Oh, thank you, Cody. Thank, thank you, Cody. Cody. Thank you, Cody. Uh, Crimson, 10 bits. Hey, guys, I sent a package that will probably get there around the 20th of March or at least April 10th. So keep an eye out. It's an anime wall scroll. It's my first time sending something. I hope you guys enjoy it. I sent a Rick I sent Rick a message on Discord of what I wanted to say. Okay. Oh, cool. Okay. Thank cool. you. Thank you. I thought you, I sent a Rick as well. I think we already got one. <laughs> Another. No. Another one. Uh, Brother Tone has resubscribed for 33 months at tier three. 33 months. Scotty Pippen sends his regards. Mm. Aw, thank you, Tone. Thanks, Tone. Scotty Pippen. Thank you one. very much, thank Tone. Thank you very yeah. much. Good one, sir. Dark Saint Discord has resubscribed for four months, saying love from Vancouver. Oh, Vancouver. thank you. Thank you. Thank you well, so much. Thank you for the love. Thank you. Starfish, two months. Starfish. Starfish, thank thanks. You, thank you, Starfish. DT3, 10 bits. Thank you, Puke. Thank you, Puke, <laughs> yes. Was thank that for you. me or Calvin? No, that was for you. <laughs> Morlon has subscribed for 10 months. Thank you, Morlon. Thank, thank you, you, Morlon. Thank you. 10 months. Hilding, 100 bits. Weekly loving. Extra e love for Aaron because his story got anxiety. Oh, oh man. that's Thank you. Thank you, Hilding. Thanks a lot. Top screen, 100 bits for Puke. For Puke. <laughs> Thank you, top screen. Thank you. Max, uh, that's a redemption. Civil Pain, 100 bits. Calvin, uh, don't do what my dad did and take the ring off at least once. And not take the ring off at least once in 40 years. Otherwise, you'll need an ambulance to cut it off like him. Oh, hi, Rick. You congratulated me on my brain surgery once. Oh. 
<laughs> Congratulations on your brain surgery. Well, the surgery seems to be working. You remembered. <laughs> I, oh, hi, Rick. I rarely, I can't think of the last time I took my ring off. I don't, I like never I don't took have it mine. off. Well, Jesus. I haven't worn mine in a while. Melanie didn't wear hers. Yeah, Maggie doesn't wear hers. Does this Mike. fit? Yeah. <laughs> We're married uh, now. That's- we're, what? Well, uh, <laughs> so his not and the, stuck. <laughs> uh, his and Maggie's dad. W- when we got married, the first thing he did afterwards was he came up to us and he took our rings off. He said, "Well, now you just don't have to worry about it." Hmm. What do you okay, mean? that seems weird because you've already taken them off once. Yeah. Yeah. Uh and then you guys just never put them on. <laughs> You're like, ah, fuck it. I punched too many things. I can't have that thing on. You said it's helpful Jeez. for punching. It's not Rick. You got to punch something. You got it. I'm always worried he's coming to slap me with all the fucking rings he's got. I'm like, ah! I always take him off <laughs> when I'm in a good mood. No. <laughs> Civil pain with a, another hundred bits. I'll go after Eric. Hi, I'm Dan. Hi, Dan. I've been hey. playing Marvel Champions. It's a living card game. Hulk was just announced. I drink okay. tea at a bar because I like the environment, but don't want to risk drinking due to the history of my seizures. Oh, okay. Oh, Marvel. What was it called? Uh, Marvel Champions. I'm going to check out. The living card game, Marvel Champions. Okay. I'm making a note. Thank you, Dan. Thank you, Dan. Thank you, Dan. Appreciate it, Thank man. you, Dan. Dan the man. Voltiac has resubscribed for four months. Thank you. Thank you, Voltiac. Thank you. Voltiac. Aaron, Thank you. also known as Angry at Stuff, has subscribed. Oh. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Aaron, Angry at Stuff? No. <laughs> His name is Angry at Stuff. I said Aaron, also oh. known as oh. Angry at Stuff. <laughs> Acme tipped a dollar. Are you guys going to react to Parasite? Please do. It is a masterpiece. The movie? The movie. I don't yeah, know one anything best, about maybe. it, but one, best, one best picture, yeah. We'll play Parasite Eve, though, someday. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Mm. I don't know what that is. Uh, it is a Korean movie? Yeah. The Parasite is. Yeah. Yeah. It is not in English, so that's not doing it any favors oh, for well, us as far as reacting man, to it. I don't it. know, man. I mean, we make exceptions yeah. sometimes, maybe. Watch the raid. Mm. It's true. It's true. This well, isn't actually. It's an action movie. No, it's is not. this a drama? Yeah. Aww. It's. <laughs> it's a read for drama. It's a social politics piece. <laughs> yeah. It lo- it looks really interesting. I haven't it I haven't seen it. Yet. Really does. Yeah. Uh, Civil pain. hundred bits. Rick took my turn, but don't worry. We're tight. Rick took your turn. Took your turn. Took what turn? I don't know. What'd you do? Quit taking his turn. You leave the talk. Just next question. <laughs> um. Fabric? No, nope, that's another redemption. Damn it. <laughs> I'm off my game today. Civil Pain tipped another 40 bits, saying mm. a small tribute to puke in general. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, thank you. Thank you. In all contexts. Night, thank you. Night Owl Lenny gave 10 bits. I can wiggle my ears. Oh. Can wiggle them. Thank you. Yeah. Can you rumble them, though? Can you do that? Ian, 93 bits. Ha- Ian, 93, has resubscribed for 26 months. It's been a flip-flop kind of day. Finally got hired for a job. But Nana's in the hospital. Aww. Can always count on your podcast to help cheer me up and take my mind off from things. Thank you guys for being you. Thank you. Thank you, mm-hmm. Ian, Thank for you. the support. And best of luck to your grandma. Yep. Yes. Absolutely. Thank you, Ian. I think Adrian always has a flip flop type of day. Next question. Shannon Melissa, 25 bits. Signed up Shannon. for a 5K charity run today. Ooh. It takes place in June. When you sign up, you have to state who you're running for or who it's in memory of. Because I love Blind Wave so much, I've decided to run in memory of your mom, Eric. Oh, thank you so much. That's so wow. nice. That is. Thank you. Thank you, Shannon. Thank you. Better thank run you. all five of those cases. What if she only does, like, two? Can't think of anything to say. <laughs> <laughs> Eric will come there and carry you the rest of the way. <laughs> yes. Like in a... Um, could you imagine that she's running? She's like, I can't cool do it. I can't cool do it. Uh, and like, there's only half a K left. Like and Eric just parts the Shut crowd. <laughs> picks her up. We will do this together. Yes. <laughs> John Williams will be there. That'd be great. And sing. Uh, right Lock has subscribed for eight months. What's Sam Wise say? <laughs> I can't, uh, carry, I can't carry it for you, but I can carry you. <laughs> Come on. Come on, Mr. Frodo. <laughs> 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 Right lock, eight months. Thank you very much. Thank you, Right Lock. Thank you. Madge Brat, 50 bits. ASMR is different for everyone. Many experience the, the calm that painter Bob Ross created with his voice, demeanor, and sounds while painting. It's still used as an ASMR for many. Mm. Hmm. I do like Bob Ross. Yeah. It's something just kind of like just calm, but I, I didn't mm. feel like it was the audio was more. So it was just kind of like, yeah, just 
it was just a relaxing kind of video, you know? Although the thing thank that he you. did with the brushes, that was pretty cool. I mean, could you imagine if he was like, yeah, he just beat the hell out of him? <laughs> could you imagine a different version of that where it's like... Metal. Fucking, Watch it, man. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I'm going to paint some trees. No, you know, he's like, ah, he's like, he's like yelling going. and stuff. And then we're at a little pale white, and then we're going to get to the mountain. <laughs> <laughs> like, I don't know. Rise to the top. <laughs> I don't know. It'd be crazy. Cyan gifted a sub, and in fact, two subs. Oh, thank you, Cyan. Thank you, Cyan. Thank you. Thank you, Cyan. Cyan. Like the color? And then he gifted another 10. Whoa. Oh, thank you for the 12 gifted subs. Goodness gracious me. And then another one. 13! No, no sir. sir! 13! <laughs> thank you. Thank uh, you very much. Thank you very much. G. Paul tipped $5. I've heard that reacting to the critically acclaimed film Whiplash brings you good luck in life. So you guys should give that a try. Oh, yeah. Okay. Good luck mm. in life. I, that, I want to put it on the poll. Yep. Sounds like a scam. Okay. Isn't that like when you... Yep. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Just making sure. Oh, when the pop and snap. Or what, what is it? What? <laughs> Don't look legally blonde. <laughs> LVLK fan, <laughs> 200 bits. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Insanian. Uh, subscribe for two months. I got two months. Huh. Neat. Neat. Cool. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Neat. Thank you. Knights of the Fallen cheered 1,000 bits. <laughs> Thank you, Light. Thank you, all the knights. Thank, Thank you. you, Knights of the Fallen. Thank you, Knights of the Fallen. Liger Pop tipped $2. Who's your favorite superhero and villain? Only one each. Marvel, DC included. Favorite superhero and villain? Spider-Man? Hulk? Captain America, Joker. Batman, Joker. Mm, Hulk. Joker Hulk, Hulk or, and Hulk. or Doctor Doom. <laughs> Damn it. Yeah. I was thinking Doctor Doom. One each. Mm. I'm going with like the Marvel Eric, Cinematic you Universe say? movies. Doctor Strange is a hell of a hero. Doctor Strange, if, it, if it's just that, yeah, definitely. He's awesome. Yeah. I like... Captain Cold for both. Okay. A bold stance. <laughs> I might go Spidey and Doctor Doom. Yeah. I guess Captain Cold is a sure, hero though, and a like, villain. Like, Change my I, mind. I, I love Ghost Rider, and uh, as a villain, Doctor Doom is pretty great. But uh, just com- I, I had to, I had to make a whole video about it now. I'm not the one right. who decides, Chica. Bell Revan has subscribed for 28 months. Believe it. Believe it. Believe it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you rocks. Lucky Lewis for 12 months. Thank you. More the lucky ones. Thank you. Thank you, Lewis. Madge Brat, 10 bits. Bottom mug comes in 15 ounce size. Woot. Yep. Yes. Yep. Oh, thank you. Thank you. DT3, <laughs> 5 bits. Indiana Jones movies on pole win. Would be cool if you guys could do commentaries on them before 5 comes out next year. Yeah, that would be yeah. interesting. Yeah. I'd like to do James Bond, though. Yeah. That's November. That'd also be and interesting. And there's like <laughs> 20 of them. Yeah, there's a lot of them. <laughs> <laughs> I've only seen some of them. Some of them will be reactions. I say some we start with Casino. <laughs> Well, some of those have to be reactions, Shane. Right? As yeah. Well. Like, so we have to find a rotation of those. Because not everybody has seen all of them. Sons of bitches. Sure enough. Never saw Star Wars. The Dr. Robitussin has subscribed for 21 months. Thank, thank you, you, sir. Thank you, Robitussin. Tussin, thank you. Squiggle. Shake him up. More Tussin. Shake him up. Squiggle. More Tussin. Squiggle subscribed for the first time. <laughs> oh, Squiggle. Thanks a lot, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Squiggle. Did, you, did he do it? Did you Squiggle. do it? He didn't he did do it. it, but that's immediately <laughs> what I thought of. <laughs> <laughs> Squiggle just said. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my gosh. Uh, Spurs fans subscribed for two months. Thanks a lot. Thank you, thank you Spurs, Spurs fan. Thank you. Crimson, 10 bits. Is there a song one of you guys haven't heard and you were surprised at? My friend Cameron told me that he hasn't heard Losing My Religion because it was in a Guess the Rock song video and he hadn't heard it. It's a good song. It's a hell of a song. I mean, I don't know what I haven't heard. I never heard yeah. Piano Man until we did it on Rock Band. Really? Yeah. Aren't you surprised? I am. Yeah, I am. I think I was surprised then, too. Yeah. I'm still surprised. Yeah. Um, I thought you were just lying no. to me. <laughs> I, feel like I, I feel like I know a decent amount of songs. But the one thing I had happened, um, there was... Oh, damn, I can't think of what the song was. There was a song recently. Um, it's by Louis Capaldi. Which I found out is like second cousins to Peter Capaldi, and in his song he has a music video, and one he has a normal music video, but he has another one one that has Peter Capaldi in it. Mm. And I watched it because I'm like, I shazam the song because I was wondering what some of the lyrics were, and I saw Peter Capaldi like in like the little shazam like random video they had. I'm like, that's Peter Capaldi. What is this? Yeah. And I started watching it. I'm like, I'm gonna wait, watch it with Melanie, because I got him watching anything with her. I'm like, yeah, no, sure. watch, check out this. Peter Capaldi's in it. And we started watching it cried <laughs> it was, it was, it was, it was awesome it was a really Very good nice. video 
But I can't think of what it's, what it's called, though. I know a lot of songs, but I have no clue, like, who does them. That happens to me a lot. Thing. And what's cool is, like, you know, you hear these songs when you're younger and you forget about them, and you rediscover them, like, years later. Mm. Like, there's a song that I haven't heard in 20 years, and during uh, getting ready for Rock Band, uh, we started playing it. Uh, and I immediately downloaded my phone. I'm like, oh my god, Aaron told me the name of it. And I'm like, who sings this? You think this guy? So I, I found it, yes. downloaded it. The only correct answer is Munani Rocks. Yeah, right. I feel Munani like, rocks. like maybe, yeah. We've slept on that for years, but yeah. for me, yeah, just the other day, it was "Under the Bridge" by the Red Hot Chili Peppers. Oh. I heard that song on the radio. I had to pull over. I, I wrote down some lyrics. I was like, I gotta look this That's shit right. up when I get home. That's right. You came in and you were like, "Have you guys heard the song?" And we're like, "Yeah." <laughs> it's such a good song. I don't know. Yeah, I'm always you, pulling over, like when I'm driving, I if I hear like a song. Do you like, guys I like? Did you guys have like a like a I don't know a playlist or a CD or something you used to listen to a lot when you were younger? Yeah, and then now a lot of evidence on it. And then now like. <laughs> When I hear songs, when they end, I immediately in my mind to the next go one. to the yeah. next song. Yeah. And I'm waiting Definitely. for that to come back. And I'm like, yeah. fuck, where's it at? I need that song. And I'm like, every I'm a- Queen song. <laughs> <laughs> Except for the ones that end the albums. <laughs> the weirdest thing for me is just the relation of The Lord of the Rings to Toby Keith's Spear for My Horses. Because for some reason, when I was younger, I was playing like the, the Lord of the Rings, like Two Towers games and stuff, like the fighting ones. And I had like this Toby Keith song on a CD or something like that, and I played it on repeat while I was killing him. So I'm like, yeah, be for the horses, and I'm killing all these horses and shit. <laughs> it was weird. But I relate those two together for some reason. I don't think anybody can relate to your relationship. <laughs> Donkey Kong and um, uh, uh, Backstreet Boys is the same way. Gotcha. Because me and my sister would listen to like a Backstreet Boys CD while yeah. we were playing Donkey Kong Country together. I was always disgusted with you for doing those kind of things because I always would listen to video game music. You get the Donkey Kong music so good. It yeah. is. No, it's still it's a great <laughs> song. I love it. Yeah, Donkey Kong music is great music. But it was a way I got, I guess it was me and my sister like hanging out was like, oh, we're singing these songs and playing Donkey Kong Country together, yeah. you know? You're not singing Donkey Kong while you're playing. That's why you guys are so I mean, close today. I know, yeah, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> Cobb, <laughs> resubscribe for 21 months. Thank you, Cobb. Thank, Thank you, Cobb. Cobb. Check out Cobb's Thank best of Blind Wave mailbag videos he's Thank been putting out. Thank you. Thank yeah. you. Cobb. Thank you. I need to because I've, I've missed a number of them. Mm. Yeah, yeah, you have. <laughs> The yeah. Frenzy has resubscribed for 31 months. Thank, Thank you, The Frenzy. Thank you. Thank you. Cody gifted a sub to the Baba. Oh, well, how about that? And Dip cheered 50 bits. At least I won't get hungry now watching the podcast. Yeah. Yes. We're trying to be more professional and better, everybody. Yeah, yeah rather than the whole podcast where someone talking and you hear. But, but also, hey, let's fucking end this thing so we can but, have some talk. I'll tell well, you what, stream though, send all you want. Video game streams stream. are a little different. I feel like because yeah, it's not take as, a break. You don't have a mic. Right and here. Yeah, it's not like, hey guys, we gotta talk. That's what this whole <sighs> process is. But instead, yeah. you hear Stop that. We, I'd rather eat. Show them what it's like. <laughs> We're just that. All right, we got some redemptions. Okay. Max redeem squats. Aaron, just to add to your week of suck. Well, well that would have been during the story. Suck. Savage. I approve. Thank you. Maybe something else can have my week, week of suck. <laughs> Sounds pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> a week? Jesus. Eric, if you have room, you can start doing some as well. Okay. Because Silo Sama gave you 30. 30? Yeah, it looks like 30? it. 30? Uh, for Eric, I'm at the gym and you were getting tacos. For Eric, I'm back from the gym and still no tacos. For Eric, sorry, I didn't know. You ate later. Now. <laughs> so he still gave another 10? He did. That's amazing. <laughs> oh, that's great. Uh, good stuff. It's uh, to work off the tacos. Yeah, right. <laughs> I like how he sends another one to say sorry. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you to kick your foot out when you... Oh. Uh, fabric. Oh, I'm sure that I'm pronouncing that wrong. It's got some Frenchness on the end that I'm just giving up on. Fabrique? Huh. huh. It's like... F- huh. Fabric Oi? <laughs> yeah. I knew you were there. I'm just going to look closer. <laughs> I don't know. Fa- Fabriki Ox. <laughs> uh, well, yeah. But I know that's not how you say it. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> like uh, Fabriquois? Yes. Fabriquois. Maybe. Maybe. Like, I was saying that in my head. IOX. <laughs> okay. But anyway, what do you get? Aaron slap Calvin. Well, fuck this guy. You deserve it after that story. <laughs> Aaron slap Calvin. Oh, wait, what? Aaron yeah. slap Calvin. Oh, I love fabric. <laughs> fabric is so cool. <laughs> oh, this guy. Slap him. I thought I was getting slapped. Cancel this. Redeem Aaron, it. He said fuck him. <laughs> Aaron claps. Claps a lot. Yeah. Claps Slavin. <laughs> Why'd your face count? Ah. 
Because that. Moralon. <laughs> Eric slap Aaron for turning Luke to the dark side. What? I don't know what that means. My glasses. God, I need new ones. Damn and it. then I finally. Get slapped by Eric after you did all these uh, squats. And then finally, Maj Brat. Hap, sla, happy slap a baldy Thursday. <laughs> Eric slap Aaron for him never opening gifts people sent him in Pokemon Go. LOL. Oh, so I Eric do. Can I just slap haven't twice. opened yours. Right. Two slaps. Ask Eric. Boba. Okay, Two slaps, slaps for Aaron. I only can open 10 in a, in a you day. You don't open mine. I have. I sent you one yesterday. Once a month. I sent you one yesterday. Oh, jeez. What was the other one for? I don't know, because... Uh. <laughs> Slap a baldy day. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I think that's going to do it. Thank you so much, everybody. this edition of the Blind Wave Podcast. Thank if you, you missed it live, it is every Thursday, 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Thank, thank, yeah. So go and check it out. Thank you, everybody, so much. Time. Thank you so much for the food. Thank you, guys. We appreciate it. Come thank on! You. Cody, Lenny, yes, thank you for that. Have a good day, everybody. Bye-bye. Bye. 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 Bye.